Take it easy. The green one. <laughs> He's the Grinch. That's it. And we're here on this Thanksgiving holiday weekend to spend some time with you, our our viewers. We're ready to we're ready to let you come in. Let us know where you're coming from. Let us know if you're your first time. Hey, Nancy Haig is with us. Hi, Nancy. Welcome back. One of back. our top fans. Yeah. Welcome back. Awesome. Yep, it's a pleasure for us to be here with you for this entire weekend. Really? And uh, we've been waiting for this moment. We know a lot of you have. <laughs> We're going to have know. a lot of fun today. And yes. then we'll be back later on tonight to do... Uh, uh, Max and Cindy Lou. Yeah, Max and Cindy Lou. <laughs> we couldn't get the real Cindy Lou to come I join know. us. I know, she's so But it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> Sherry Gibson with us. Hey, Regina, Sherry. Regina, Saskatchewan. Welcome. <clears throat> Jamie Marie says, I'm still sketching, running late. Don't That's worry, okay. we're going to give a couple of minutes for people to, ch yeah. uh, to check in. Remember, the bottom of his shirt we'll do together, his legs will do together. Yeah, we're already at 800. <laughs> we're yeah. doing good. Denton, Texas. Hi, guys. Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Awesome. <laughs> yes, Pamela Depp, hi. Hi, Pam. Rachel, folks, I still have to sketch. You got it's time okay, to sketch, go so go ahead and get your sketches in. <laughs> there were people coming in at the last minute asking for the sketch, right? Uh-huh, yep. So we know, we know That's people okay. are sketching. We got Houston, Texas in the house. Yeah, St. Houston. Leonard, Maryland. Welcome, guys. Baltimore, Maryland. I'm just going to read off the cities because they're coming in so fast. <laughs> Abby and Zoe are here with Teresa hi, Davis. Abby and Zoe. Awesome. Oh, yeah, they're coming in rapidly. Thank you all for joining <laughs> us today. We're at 1,000. Awesome, guys. All Look right, we thought you. a lot of people wanted to do the Grinch. You told us, and we came <laughs> through, and we're ready to do the painting with you. Uh, especially if you're a first-timer, please let us know. Yep, I see somebody from Burleson, Texas, said hey. this their first time. Awesome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, guys. Got a lot of families, yeah. a lot of kids. Yeah, you guys did some great work over the last two days. We did the family penguins, which were wonderful. I loved seeing those family photos. They were nice. Um, and we did the elf on the shelf last night. Those uh, are great, too. It's awesome. Amy Wanfley wants to know where she can get the sketch. Right on our website, mimosasmasterpieces.com. Click sign on the up. sign up. Use promo code SELFCARE, all caps. Use promo code SELFCARE, all caps, so you don't have to pay the dollar fee that you're going to see. Yep. And then you'll get an email, and that email will have it in a Word document. You're going to have to scroll down, and then you'll have to put uh, print your uh, <laughs> print your sketch. Yep. Don't worry. If you're a first-timer, you don't have the sketch. You can print the sketch. You get it If you get it not in time, the video will be posted as soon as we're done with the event, so you don't have to do it now. You can also so don't stop rush. or pause, right? Can you do that on there? I, I don't think know you if can. you can stop or pause. I'm, you could try. Yeah, I, usually, I know we couldn't before, but I think now that you're using this camera. Right, because it's, it's, it's on the main uh, page. Yeah, they yeah. might be able to stop and pause on this and, and yeah, rewind. Yeah, so you may be able to go at your own pace here, even if we're live, which is great. Right, so don't. Don't feel uh, left out if Don't you can't rushed. get this. If you can't get the sketch, we'll be able to do. Uh, you'll be able to do it later. As soon as we're done, we will post the video. It'll be right here on our page. Hey, Nikki Stewart is here. Hi. <laughs> I saw that. That was fast going by. But really? I saw it. <laughs> Hi, love. Yes, awesome. we are. Uh, we are definitely happy to have so many of you join us today for this. And just know that we will be back again tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Max and Cindy Lou, we got to complete uh, the trio. Sherry, Sherry Rosie X says, can we do it without a sketch? You could try. You I'm can not try doing it without the sketch. I'm you, not going to go over sketching. Right. If you don't do a good job with the sketch and you can't get it up, you can't do it right, then just go to the website, get the sketch, and do it later today. Yeah. We'll be back on again um, tonight. Something that I, I suggested to somebody else earlier today who was a little stressed about getting the sketch on there. Yeah. If you want to paint your entire background first, light colors, we want you to do light colors, and then 
cover the entire canvas with the background and go back later once it's completely dry and do your sketch and go back through and do the Grinch again, you could do that too. You just need to make sure that your background is pretty muted. Like so that's a good idea. Light. So if you're stressed not that you don't have a sketch right now, you can go through and do the background completely with us and cover where the Grinch would normally be. And then you can go back and add the sketch in later. But you just have to make sure that those colors that you're using in the background are pretty muted. So real light pastel colors, okay? And then you should be able to paint right over it. So I'm giving a shout out to Olivia and Sarah, Sarah from Ontario. Hi, Olivia and How Sarah. How y'all doing? First time at Tanya Malls Adams. Yes, Hi, I'll Tanya. be getting closer. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful camera that I'll be zooming in and out. And yeah. We'll be checking out yeah, everything. don't worry. We'll get closer. <clears throat> Again, for you first timers, keep in mind that if you if you can't keep up or you don't have the sketch, we you can do it later because yeah. we do have um, we do have to uh, post a video as soon as we're done. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry, no stressing. Karen Relax. Bingham says, I taped it to the back of my canvas, but I can't see through it. Holds it up to some light or put a light. light lamp behind it, and you should be able to see it that way. And Jamie Vance Green says, I signed up, but I didn't get a sketch. Well, if you did sign up, then that means you got an email. And if you got the email, you didn't scroll all the way down so you can see all the <laughs> No, what happens is in your email, there's a link. There's a hyperlink that says download. People are just totally missing that. So there's a link that says download. Your links have been sent. So there's a hyperlink that says download. That hyperlink is a Word document. Open it up. Your supply list is there. Where we're going to be is there. All the FAQs about the event is going to be there. That's right. As well as the sketches, how to get the sketch to your canvas, about our giveaways, about marketing requests. All of that is in that one document. Got to so read it. Just got to read it. All right, we got another first timer, Alicia Moroda. Hi, Alicia. From Portland, Oregon. Welcome, welcome. All right, we got a lot of people here joining us tonight. We are so, so grateful that Yay. you all came, especially you new people. So cool. We'll be reading off what we have coming up in the next few weeks. Yep. Uh, we've got a whole lot of things scheduled for you. We got a whole lot of new things coming up for the new year. We'll be talking about all of that. Yes. But we're going to be ready to get started in, I'd say, one more minute. You got it. We'll give some more people some time to get ready. <laughs> we can see a lot of first timers here. Hey, hey. Aloha from Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha. Whitney Mayabea. Hi, Whitney. So cool. Welcome, guys. Julie Moore, first time from Pennsylvania. Hi, Julie. Well, we love Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, people love people love the great cutout. <laughs> Thank you to my friend Pam, who also supplied me with. Um, Color Street, which we'll be giving away for you today, along with those Grinch decals that I'm wearing on my nails. Um, she does not sell them. They're just a freebie that we're giving you today um, as part of our giveaway round when we do our round of giveaways after the event. But okay. she allowed us to borrow that Grinch cutout. How awesome. <laughs> Again, Allie Kimball, the Hi, sketch Allie. is on the website. You need to go to the website. MimosasMasterpieces.com. MimosasMasterpieces.com. One word. Find the sign up for the Grinch. And once you click on it, you can add it to cart. Use the promo code SELFCARE in all caps. And then it will ask you for your email. It will send you that email. And there's a hyperlink that will say download. And that is a Word document that has your supplies, your FAQs, the sketches, how to sketch, yada, yada. The whole nine yards. Everything you should have a question about should be answered in that document. <laughs> yes. And for future reference, those of you who are joining us for the first time, you scroll through our Facebook page. There's uh we got a bunch of stuff. There's there. informational videos on how to go through our page, how to work with us, how to get the things that you're looking That's for, right. like sketches and kits and supplies, all of those things. They're also on our YouTube page. YouTube page is Mimosas Masterpieces. One word. You go there, you can look at all of our documentary um, all of our footage on what to do, and all the information about yeah. how to navigate through our page. We're going to keep adding to it just because we know we have new people coming in all the time. Right. So we, um, so we try, you. yeah, yeah, making sure that you're not clicking on those scam links or the spam links. Just so you know, from here on out, any transactions that happen only happen on our website. Absolutely. So never through Facebook. I am not charging you through Facebook. So if you see a link that you click, other than mimosasmasterpieces.com, to purchase something, it's not us, it's a scam. So right. please, and if you have happened to click on something like that, please report your credit card or to your credit card companies because we do not do that. 
All right, Jamie Marie says, I finally finished my sketch and I need a drink. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll sip with you this evening when I do Max and Cindy Lou. It's a little early in the day for uh, for wine, but I should have had a mimosa. Yeah. What's that's wrong true. with me? It's the right time for it. Darn. Okay. All right, since there's so many people, Let's... there's no way I can read everybody's names <laughs> off at this time. They're all coming in so fast. It's just okay. keep in mind that if you have any issues, just put it in the comment section. Marco, I will read. be. I'll try to catch it, read it. I'll write it down. But um, I will be repeating some of the steps and have Jennifer repeat the steps as we go along. Yep. We'll go along at a nice, steady pace. So don't worry. Um, you can draw it freehand if you think you can. Yeah, yeah. But if Absolutely. you can't, please don't stress yourself. Okay. You don't can go to the website. You can take the time out to navigate through that and get the sketch and download it and print it and all of that stuff. And then you can paint yep. later on today, tonight. We'll, we'll be posting a video as soon as we're done. That's right. A lot of things, so so you guys know why there's sketches to some of our things and why I don't um, try to give you step-by-step -step for everything. So some things do have sketches and some things don't have sketches. When I do something that's a little bit more authentic or, or licensed, let's say, um, I'd rather give you a sketch so that you feel more accomplished, that it's looking like the item that you do. Right. It also takes a lot more time to give mm -hmm. you that um, your head is going to be this size, this size, the arms are going to be this size, this size. So we also want to keep you for only an hour and a half to two hours at the very most. If we go through sketching all of that, it would be a lot longer. <laughs> right. So, we want to keep your attention span so we, short. We don't want you to be here all day. I mean, I'll be here all day, but we don't need you to be here all day. So, uh, all right. Let's, I think we should... Yeah, ready to begin. Let's you do can it. begin. Let's do it. All right. So for those of you that don't know, I'm Jennifer. Mark's behind the computer. He's my eyes and ears. The camera guy, the, the, the chatting everything guy, man. the, the blue everything. Guy. <laughs> the hidden guy. Uh, we are Mimosas and Masterpieces. We're out of Southbound Brook, New Jersey. We have been doing virtual painting since March, since, you know, the end of February. Everything of mine was canceled through the rest of the year. So we just kind of turned things around, made a negative into a positive. And went this way, and man, I love this even more. <laughs> yes. And Lisa Pratt, yes, the sketch is missing the legs. Yep. That's how the sketch comes. That's right. So, yes, your sketch is missing the legs. We, we'll do the little ruffle on the, or the fluff on the bottom of his shirt, and we'll do the legs in just a moment. We'll go over your supply. So, 16 by 20 canvas, sketched with our sketch of the Grinch. Our primary colors, Red, yellow, blue, black, and white. That's it. I try to just use primary colors for everything that we do and mix with you. So you don't have to have a huge repertoire of colors in your uh, in your supply kit. Um, brushes that we'll use. We'll use a flat brush. So it's up to you whether you want to use anything from a half inch to a one inch flat brush. This is going to be for our background. Those of you that bought kits from us have the entire set of four. So whichever one you feel comfortable with, you could do it. The larger the brush, the quicker it goes. That's right. <laughs> the uh, other two that we'll use is that medium round brush, a number eight, and then the smaller, tinier brush for our details and outlines. Um, a trick that I try to tell people about the outlines, especially if you have little ones painting with you, you can wait until the entire painting is dry. And if it's too daunting to do um, those black lines with your tiny brush, you can go back over it with a nice, bold black Sharpie. Um, that kind of makes it a little easier for our kiddos, especially. Um, cup of water to rinse, paper towels to dry, and we can get started. Okay, just to, uh, just to answer a few questions, the website is Mimosas Masterpieces. Masterpieces One word, mimosasmasterpieces.com. You got it. Okay, second question is, if you can't, if you're, rush, if you're trying to rush to get the sketch now while we're getting ready to begin, mm -hmm. I would suggest that what you do is just paint the background and then you can navigate through the website and find and find the uh, find the sketch so that you can download it. You can sign up and get the sketch that way. Yeah, you don't have to rush to get this done, guys. We don't want you to be feeling rushed. Is there a black sharpie right by you in that box? Uh, yes, there is. Mm. That's a fun. All right, that'll work. Okay, I just didn't want to do it in pencil, so you guys can see it. All right, so let's work on the rest of our sketch and then we'll work on our background, okay? All right. All right, here we go. So underneath our shirt for our Santa Grinch, <laughs> I'm just gonna come down with some little ruffles down here. And it's just some little wavy lines, just kind of connecting from one hand to the other. Hold on. Oh, you gonna zoom? Sorry. I'm trying to. 
And now my camera's going crazy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <clears throat> it won't stop. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Hang on. Okay, now let me zoom out. All right, I just wanted to show them where you were right, where you were drawing. Okay. You good? Yeah, good. Okay. Sorry. So down here under our hands, we're just kind of doing a little ruffle of white fluff under there. And then his, the rest of his body that come down to his legs. So what I do is underneath his body, I'm centered under his body. I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom of my canvas. And we'll put two little dashes here at the bottom. About an inch apart. Okay. So we're going to, from the left side, or sorry, the right side of his ruffle, we're going to do a curved line coming out and then down connecting to that little dot that we made on the right side. So it's just an elongated curved line coming down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the same on the left side. So a curved line coming out and around and then in toward the bottom. Okay, out and around and in toward the bottom. And of course I didn't connect that, but that's okay. All right. And anything that you feel like is not right, you can always fix when we're painting. Right. That's the best part. And just for newcomers, just to give you a reminder, okay, how we do things here at Mimosa's Masterpieces, we, we schedule our events weeks, sometimes months in advance. <laughs> so that's what you got to do. You got to go do. to our website and you got to get all the things that you need and can't join us at the last minute and think you're going to get everything that you need unless we're doing a painting that is, um, doesn't have any sketch or something to it. It's okay. All good. Just wanted to let them know so that they can do it in the future. <clears throat> all right. So... Two more things before we get started. For us, it is not about putting the paint on the canvas. Yes, we want you to make a masterpiece. Yes, we want you to love what you've done. But it is more for me about you guys having some downtime for yourselves, having time with your family, taking your mind off of everything else going on right now, I'm just focusing on something for yourselves for a little while. Yes, having that's some fun. What, that's what this is about for us. It's making you smile. We hope to make you laugh. We're going to create a little bit of joy. That joy will repeat out to others. So that's what this is about for us. Right. It's not about okay. perfection. It's all about expression. And with that, my, my painting, painting is not, not going to look, look like, like my painting. painting and, and your painting, painting is, is not, not going to look, look like my painting. painting. Everybody's is going to be different. We all have different supplies. We all have different moods and techniques. So don't stress about it not looking exact, okay? Right. All right. But we're going to aim toward making it look similar to the one we have right next to us. So I'm going to start with that flat brush. Now again, you can use the larger flat brush, a one inch, three quarter inch, or a half inch flat brush. So again, the bigger the brush, the quicker it goes. Rinse and dry that half inch flat brush. Rinse and dry. And then we're going to do corner of white and a little corner of blue. Little corner of blue. So big corner of white, little corner of blue. I'm going to start right along the top edge of my canvas. We want to get those edges in there. So everybody who's having difficulty with get the, getting the sketches, I would advise you to just do what you were doing now. Yeah, work we're going to work on the background. That's what I'd say. Work on the background. And, and that then way you you'll have some back. of it done already. You can always go back to, um, to doing the sketch after you've got the background on there. Absolutely. Yeah, as long as you have your nice muted colors, like uh, pastel colors, <clears throat> you could, you'll be able to... Still uh, be able to see the sketch? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, you'll be able to put the sketch on right on over top of your background. So, so I'm just going to continue. Corner, little corner of blue, a big corner of white, and we're just going to do horizontal brush strokes all the way across the top of our painting. And make sure you get the edges. Side, side. So to the right, to the left. All right, right down. I'm going to come right down the side, actually. Just get that done. And we're going to bring that blue and white all the way down. I want you to do all the way down, and we'll go back in and fill in our mountains, okay? So blue and white all the way. And I'm going to switch to that larger brush because otherwise... I won't get to tell you about all the upcoming events that we have. Right. And since we have so many people on right now, and a lot of them are newcomers, yeah. we've got to let you know that we always post the video yeah. once we're done. Yeah. You get you, a chance, 
go through our page and see all the events that we have and then see all of the videos that are still up for the ones that we've done recently. We've got a bunch of stuff up. It's so awesome. We, we know that you're not always going to be able to make it on time. We know that not everybody can always be here at the same time, same place. So yeah, we keep it up for at least a week on the page. Um, and then we move it to either the website for a small fee or we move it right to our YouTube channel. Right. So as you get close to the Grinch while you're painting those uh, horizontal brush strokes, mm -hmm. if you go over it, it's okay. But I try to kind of come in and cut around those little edges and then just kind of keep painting right off, right along. And for those that don't have a sketch, they just can leave a little they space? Could just, yeah, you could leave a space here if you want to. But even if, if you don't, I would say just keep those, keep those tones really muted, nice and light, lots of white in there. And then you can go back with that sketch when it's all dry. So just using those horizontal brush strokes all the way across. So keep in mind that we're coming back on later tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern yes, time to do are. Cindy Lou Max and Max. And Cindy Lou. So the same thing applies. If you need the sketches for those things, yeah, grab those you need too to go while to the website going on. and get all of those things that you can get now. If you're going to the website to get the Grinch, grab those. Um, yeah. Grab, grab Max, Max and Cindy, Cindy Lou, Lou as too. well. Yeah, might as well. Might as well come back and do it again. All right. Dana Kendrick. Hi, Dana. Okay, she says I don't have a live video stream here. Is oh. this a Zoom? No. I purchased and checked out, but didn't get a link for the Zoom. No. Nope, okay, it sounds a... like you clicked on one of those clickbait things, Hopefully which you not. should not do. You should stay away from those things. If you got, if you have to identify who it is when you when you see these things, you can contact us directly to see and get us confirmed that yeah, it's not. Yeah, you would have you would have gotten that email from us. Uh, right, this is not a Zoom event. This is right here on Facebook. If you're here in the comment section, then you you're at the right us. place. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no Zoom. A Zoom, we, we do charge certain fees for Zoom events. Yes. And those will be emailed to you. Like our a couple of our upcoming events will be Zooms. Can yeah, because it's a lot of people here in these comments that are coming up now about how to get the sketch. You have to go visit the website to get the sketch and sign up for it. And that's yep. mimosasmasterpieces.com. All one word. Yeah. As I'm going, I'm just kind of getting in those little areas in between his arms okay and again if you happen to go over the sketch a little that's fine it's okay don't worry we can paint right over that and if you claim that you've gone to the website and you did not receive an email and you didn't read the instructions carefully enough you need to go back to the email i mean go back to the website and read the instructions carefully or so the, that you get the things that you need or the email may have been incorrect so we're, it, our system just will generate an email right to whatever email you guys enter. Right. So sometimes we have found that, that emails have been entered incorrectly. <clears throat> so you, that's why you may not get your stuff. Is it po If it's possible that you're trying to rush to do this, don't do that. Take your time. Go to the, go to the website. Look, read the instructions carefully. And then you'll do everything you got to do. You can get the email. And then you can come back and do the video. The video will be posted as soon as we're done here doing yeah. the live stream. So it's no pressure, no stress. Yeah, Just yeah. Take your relax, time. relax. It's supposed to be a fun time. Yes, we're on every week, almost every day. We're doing some type of an <laughs> event. So just get yourself educated on how we do things, and then you can enjoy having painting time with us. We have a YouTube channel that has over 60 different paintings on there. You can paint. Some of them need sketches going to get the sketch the same way you're going to get the sketch from here. So just take your time, figure it out, and then enjoy yourself. All right. So we're just continuing those horizontal brush strokes again in these little areas. I'm going to end up going over the sketch a little. That's okay. We just want to get that background in there. This is kind of the first layer of our background. Just horizontal brush strokes all the way across. What if you give us a trivia question? You were looking at those earlier. Yes. <laughs> well, I was going to bring that out a little bit later. But, oh, okay. Well, that's all right. All right, because right now everybody's focusing on their background. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, first question I have 
here for some Grinch trivia. Uh-huh. Is where did the Grinch live? Uh, what's the name of the mountain? Crumpet? No. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> not in Whoville. Was it in Whoville? No, not in Whoville. <laughs> Who knows? Because I, I guess I don't know. Many times as I watched him. <laughs> well, the answer I have... I'll wait a second. Okay. Let's see if any of our viewers know. Well, see now, Celine says Mount Crumpet. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, Crumpet. Okay, well, what I have here doesn't say that. It just says just north of Whoville. Oh, okay. It doesn't say the specific place. All right, so we were right, Celine. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, these, these answers here from this trivia is sort of uh, <laughs> general. Okay, they're not specific. Too generic. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got one more question before we continue on. Yeah, see, everybody's saying Mount Crumpet, yeah, the top of Mount Crumpet. That's right. Okay, see? they're being specific, which that's, is great. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess, that. you know, I was searching for these trivia <laughs> questions, and I was looking for easy ones, and it, they gave me the real easy ones. Okay, what was the most likely reason that the Grinch hated Christmas? Hmm. His heart was three sizes too small. <laughs> or two sizes too small. <laughs> well, we want to give people a chance to answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Marissa, we're slowing down. That's why we're asking trivia questions right now. So you can catch up. Yeah, don't worry. Don't no worry. Box. And we repeat the steps. Yeah, we we just for the background so far we just grabs a little bit of blue and a nice big corner of white <laughs> yeah, on the brush. Crystal, Crystal all the, way says the reason why is because his shoes were too small. <laughs> uh, maybe <laughs> that was one of the reasons. Courtney King got it right. <laughs> Lisa Pratt got it partially right. <laughs> Becky Zwieris got it right. Amanda got it right. <laughs> the answer. His heart was two sizes. Two sizes too, too small. small. <laughs> not three sizes, not four sizes. Two sizes too small. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Tina Fellinger says his head was not screwed on tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and That's Wendy says he hated the music. <laughs> Robin Cahal, Rob, Robin Cahal said he was bullied. He was. <laughs> all of these, all of those answers are correct according to the movie. That's right. <laughs> he was bullied. Yeah, so these questions are not very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Seriously. All right, this one, is, he's Bad. shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, because it says, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. What was the Grinch's dog's name? Max. Everybody knows the Grinch's yeah, dog's that's name. That's really easy. Okay. Not good, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. When I did Golden Girls, I had some really good knockout Yeah, they questions. were tough. They were good ones. <laughs> All right, throw Mark some thumbs up when you guys are ready with this part of your background, and then we'll move on to the next step. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, I wish I had better questions. I don't know. What was your favorite version of The Grinch? I think mine is the one with Jim Carrey. I do really like that one. I'm sorry. I know. Nothing beats the, the original. Grinch you have can't. here. Yeah, I know. There would be no Jim Carrey if it wasn't for the original Grinch. I know. This guy. Yep. Right here. It's in the middle of your screen. Rip this bell off of this thing. He's the best. The best. Yes, that's what got me into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love. Our top fan, thumbs Sarah up. Ryan, gives you a thumbs up. Awesome. Hi, Sarah. Way to go. Yeah, see? 
Wendy says yes, the original cartoon. The original. Alright. <laughs> I just thought it was innovative how they did some of the things that they did for now, the live. Shaney right? says the new cartoon. Yeah, there is a there's newer a one. There's a new cartoon? Which? Yeah, there's a newer one. Which is more based off of the Jim, the Jim Carrey, Carrey live version. Yeah. Oh, so they're just trying to get rid of our Grinch that you have here. That no. They came, they're just trying to get him wiped out all completely, huh? <laughs> no. No, you can't mess with the original. See, like Brittany Hale says, I like the cartoon, the old school. Yes. The old school. Yep. The new animated one is coming out on Netflix. That's what Julie Lampkin says. Okay. Yeah, they want you to forget all about the old Grinch. <laughs> all people are going to remember is the new one and the Jim Carrey one. Oh, no, stop. Yeah, we got to make sure they don't forget about this Grinch. <laughs> the original Dr. Seuss Grinch. My goodness. Yeah, you got so a lot funny. of uh, thumbs, thumbs up, up here. Beautiful. All right. Let's move on to our next step. All right. I'm going to have you go back to, if you're not using it, that half inch flat brush, rinse and dry. So rinse and dry. We're going to make that light purple color for our mountains in the back, those nice big peaks back there. So to do that, we're going to take a little scoop of our blue and a little scoop of our red. I'm going to take a nice big scoop of white. And we'll mix. Alright, I'm zooming in really good so they can see you make these mountains. Okay. So your purple, you're just going to make a purple to whatever purple you like. Remember if those of you are um, doing the mountains or doing your background fully before the Grinch, you're going to probably want to make this even a little bit lighter so that you keep those muted colors throughout. Okay. Okay. So with that purple, we're going to start with a nice big peak up here. I'm going to come up and come down just like we're doing a nice big triangle. All right. Almost all the way up to the top, huh? Yep. Almost all the way up to the top. And you can make your mountains as big or as small as you want. We'll do another little peak over here coming down toward his head. What colors, Nicole Richards says? This was a little scoop of blue, a little scoop of red, and then a nice big scoop of white. So we have a nice light muted purple color. Okay. Okay, yep. So we're just doing some of those little triangular peaks here. And you can make your peaks any anywhere way you want. Anywhere, any way. We're gonna come up from, we'll come up from over here and do another one here. See, now Mar Margie Ward Worden says, Hi, Margie. Uh, it's my second time here, Hi, but this time I am just watching first and then I will paint later. Oh, that's a great idea. I know. We have a couple people that like to do that. Right. And especially if you don't get to start on time or if you don't have the sketch. Yeah. Yeah. Just that's no fine. rush. I forgot this little area inside his hat. So I'm going to do that with that uh, purple here. And I need to come back in with my light blue I'll do later. But I'll get right. in there. Now, let's see how you put your peaks in the background. Yep. Okay. You can put your peaks anywhere, anywhere you, you want. want. That's any right. Any way you want. You got it. There's no rules here. It's all about expression. It's not about perfection. <laughs> and then I'm just going to continue to come down. We're, we're going to fill those guys in. Mm -hmm. Laura, Lola Sealer Halter says, my paint is coming out brown. Uh-oh. How do we get brown? You got yellow in there somewhere. Yeah, what did you say the colors uh, that you mixed So, so again? colors again is a little bit of red and a little bit of blue and a nice big scoop of white. No yellow yet because yellow is what would turn it brown. And then I'm just kind of brushing that purple down. It doesn't, it doesn't have to come all the way down, but we're going to brush it down because then we're going to go over with our next layer of colors for the next set of melons. Okay. So I'm just pulling that down from the peaks. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so they can see how you're doing this. I'm just filling those in. That's it. If we aren't finished with the background, what should we do? Which color background? Just the blue? 
Yeah, we're I gonna, guess that's the blue. We're going to pause for a moment. We're going to let everybody get some purple in there. Right, you can continue there. on. You yeah. just keep on painting. And yep. just keep looking at the steps. Yeah. We'll repeat. We'll repeat when you need me to, okay? Yes. We're going to every, let everyone get their purple on there for a bit. As soon as you finish your background, then what the next thing that you did was um, you made the peaks, right? Yep, we just made our first layer of mountains. So we did a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, and a nice big scoop of white. A little bit of red, those. a little bit of blue, and a nice big scoop of white. You mix it all up until you like the color that you yep. have, and then you start making your your peaks behind, behind your Grinch. That's right. I'm going to get that little blue area that I missed. Yeah, Cheryl Houck says, I can't get an email from you. Hmm. But I don't know what you're doing wrong. You're not reading the instructions correctly. <laughs> not necessarily. If you're on the website, the instructions are right there. You can't get an email from us. Um, yeah, all, all I can think is that maybe the email is incorrect on your when you're trying to place an order. Mm -hmm. Have you got, if you haven't gotten an email confirmation, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um... Has an order gone through? Have you been charged for anything? Not sh not sure how to figure that out, sweetie. We'll, we'll have yeah, to... Yeah, the only thing I could suggest is that when we're finished here, then we you just check private message us and we'll yeah. find out what you're doing wrong and then we'll get you set up with everything that you need and you can paint it later. If you're having that kind of trouble... I we'll mean, figure it out. Yeah, I mean, everything is pretty much uh, self-explanatory on the, on the web page. So if you're having some kind of trouble, then we would have to know specifically what you're doing. We won't be able to do that until after we're done here. So purple mountains. Yeah, Ashley awesome. Hooper says, I'm going to have to watch later because mine that's is good. awful. It's dark blue and brown. Aw, not sure how we got brown. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we got brown either. How we, got brown. we don't have brown anywhere on the palette. No, but right? what happens is it'll turn brown if you've got yellow somehow in there. But so, you didn't say yellow, right? No, no yellow. Okay. No yellow yet. I'm using primary colors, so no, um, and that's, and that's, again, that's why my painting is not going to look like my painting. Your painting is not going to look like my painting. Because like exactly. we're, because if you have something like a crimson, which is a red color, and mm -hmm. you go to mix it, that's going to be a lot darker than just a primary red. Or maybe they use a little bit too much of the red. It, it just depends. And it's just. Well, you just got to keep mixing until you figure out. What is the color that is right for you? L lots of white. And it's okay if they're brown. I mean, hey, brown right, mountains, mountains right? are brown. That's right. <laughs> There's no yeah. rules. They don't have totally. to be purple mountains. No, not That's at all. absolutely true. Not at all, yeah. Or like Jamie Marie says, just pause the video and yeah. resume when See? you're ready. That's it. I, I'm glad you said that because I wasn't sure if you could definitely still do that. So, yeah, pause it. Pause it and you could just finish where you left off and we're going to keep on going. Yeah, Heather Renee says... I so needed this mama time. Oh, yay. Thank you both. You're welcome, Heather. That's what it's all about. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. We don't want you guys stressing over trying to get stuff and do stuff. So if it didn't happen this time, it's okay. You can go back to it. We see right, the so video. Right, so just take a break. Take a deep breath. Step save back from the, the pain. And if you can't <laughs> figure it out, we'd we'll be more than willing to help you after we finish doing the session. Yep. Oh, yeah, see, Suzanne Burgesson says Hi, to the Suzanne. person who's having the problem with the mail, check your spam folder. Oh, good idea. Yep. Yeah, good Colin idea. Decker says check the junk mail. That's Mail Minds was. Check oh, your spam. there you go. Yep, sorry, guys. I don't know how to control right, that if you don't get, you're Right, <laughs> if you don't, you don't have contacts and you don't, because that's what happens on my email. Yeah. If you're not a contact, it's going to go to my spam mail. And then I'm, I might not never see it if I'm not used to getting Looking emails from something. I gotcha. That's true. Okay. Good point. <laughs> right. See, then we have another another viewer who says, "Look, I signed up, but I'm stuck at work right now, so I'll have to do it later." <laughs> there you go. Okay, do it later. and that's what's happening. Okay, that's what, that's why we post the video because okay. we don't know when you're able to get the time. To sit down and relax and enjoy yourself. Yeah. You don't want to paint while you're trying to be busy doing a bunch of other things. That doesn't even make sense for you to yeah. do it that way. Definitely not. 
All right, we're going to go right. on to our next layer of mountain. So again, we'll rinse and dry that flat brush, that half inch flat brush. We're going to use our blue. So I'm going to take a little scoop of my blue and a tiny bit of my white this time to lighten up. Again, if you're doing that full background, you're going to want to lighten this up a lot more so you have nice muted mountain colors. So I just got this light blue I got going. And we're going to do the same thing. This time we'll just kind of come right over top of where we finished off those peaks before. Now these are your blue mountains. These are going to be our blue mountains. I'll do another one over here. We'll do one up going up that way. And then we're just going to pull that down again. So just pulling that, pulling that down. And again, for first timers and for other people here who are putting in comments, if you see people like Mike Key Lee putting in these crazy Christmas promos or whatever, please ignore those things. We do not we do not endorse or confirm anybody putting their little promos up into our, our chat section. Yep. Okay, they're not for us. We don't con we don't condone it. So please just don't it just ignore these people. Yeah, we um at a, ver at a point very soon, we're going to only allow commenting for people that follow the page so that we can verify that you are a follower of a page and not just a scammer spammer. Right. Um, but if you don't like or follow it, then you won't be able to put those comments in. So we're giving everybody kind of that heads up to make sure that you like or follow so that you can continue to comment when you, uh, when you have an issue. Yes. I want to give a shout out to Joy Harrington. Hi, Joy. She said, this is my pre-70th birthday self-care afternoon. Oh, my goodness. Well, happy 70th birthday. That's so awesome. Absolutely. Thank you for joining Aww. us. 70th birthday. That's so cool. Happy and, birthday. And knows how to self-care. Says, I want yeah. to and enjoy myself and relax. <laughs> Definitely. That's great. Aw. So yeah, we're just bringing down that those blues and those mountains. Right, so now you got your purple mountains in the back. Yeah, purple mountains in the back. And your blue mountains right up in the front. Yep. And we're going to start to fade those down a little bit more. Uh, Jewel Nickerson says, how do we tip you guys? We will, um, at the end of it, actually, uh, Mason, hopefully you're watching. Mason can maybe set that up for me ahead of time. Um, typically what I do is we put up two posts after the event. We post the video, number one. The first post we put up is uh, like a little picture of maybe the setup. And we say, reminder, post your photos here. We want you to put all of your photos in as comments on that thread. This way we can go back and when we get a chance to do a slideshow, we'll take all of those from that comment thread and get, get it from there. And the next post we put up is me holding that many thanks sign or many thanks card. Um, with our tip information okay. and we do certainly appreciate those they are not expected but always appreciated yeah um, those of you that do use that tip jar we put you in for the spinners for the giveaways later so we'll do um, we'll come back tomorrow uh -huh. so the great thing is um, we'll have two sessions so we'll probably end up doing two wheels one for all of our Grinch kit purchasers and tippers and one for our Max and Cindy Lou kit purchasers and tippers. Um, depending on how many there are, we may put everybody together, but we'll just see, ow, see what it comes out to be. Careful. I want to thank everybody for giving Joy a uh, happy birthday Aww. wishes. I yes. really appreciate that. That's awesome. That's we what we call you. Here. That's right. That's why we call you the Mimosas community. Yes. We are a community here. No matter how many people join us for in any event, we all treat everybody like family, and we enjoy uh, having everybody join us when they can. That's right. If you can't, then we also appreciate when you come back <laughs> later and look at the video and paint with us on the video. Most all definitely. we ask you to do is to take a picture of your painting and send it to us so we can celebrate it and celebrate you. Definitely. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. We're going to go to our next step for those mountains. Again, I just rinsed and dried that brush a bit. And then I'm gonna grab some white, corner of white, and a corner of that light blue color that we just were using. Okay. Okay. 
So I want to now kind of create the haze underneath these. So we're sort of fading this blue out. So I'm going to brush horizontally this time underneath my mountains, but I'm going to bring it up into my mountains and then come down with it. Now I'm showing both pictures. Okay. I mean both paintings while you're while you're doing this haze, just so they could get a look at it. Okay. And now I'm going to move in closer so they can see how you're doing this haze. Okay. These strokes that you're doing. Yep. So again, I brush that white and that light blue underneath those mountains horizontally. I'm going to brush horizontally up into my mountains. Just kind of brushing over and blending and then bringing it down a bit. So it's kind of like a little fade. And all horizontal. Bringing it horizontal. Same on the other side, a little bit of white, a little bit of that blue color horizontally underneath. Okay, get that on there first. And then we're just going to go back and forth, wiping back and forth up into our mountain and then pulling it down. Now, Annette Taylor has a question here. Sure. She says, how did you do the blue mountains again? Sure. So our blue mountains is just a little scoop of that blue that we, our, our original blue and a little bit of white. So I just kind of lightened up my original blue. Right. So you just a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. Yep. Oh, you're showing the palette right now, so you see the colors right, right. there. Right, so the there's palette. that little bit of blue, little bit of white. Right. Okay, so. And then you just did triangles? Yep, and then we just kind of pulled down little triangular shapes again, little angles, making them as big as, bigger or small as you want to, so you have a second layer of mountains there. Okay. And then I just grabbed that, a little bit of that light blue and a little bit of white and just brushing horizontally right across the bottom of our mountains, pulling that down. Okay. I want to add a little bit more color to that, so I'm going to, same brush, you don't even have to rinse and dry, I'm going to add some of that purple color that I used too, along with a little bit of that white. So a little bit of that purple with a little of that white, and we're going to bring that down as well. So I'm going to kind of brush that horizontally up into our mountains a bit, and then just pull it down. And you can pull that down far as you want to go with that. And again, I want to say thank you to our viewers who have been with us yeah. who are replying thank to some all. of the questions of some of the new people. Good job, guys. See, this is why we call you guys a community. Yes, we, you need, guys are we wonderful. need that help. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. We love you all. <laughs> Susan Burgesson says, I love my Space Cats calendar that I won oh, yes. on the Soft Kitty Spin I'm Wind. I'm so glad you love it. <laughs> See, I do send stuff out, I swear, guys. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit behind, but I'm so glad you got That's probably the last thing I sent out was Big Bang Theory one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now, we <laughs> all we always enjoy a happy birthday. Yes. And then Loretta Richmond Johnson says it is my 49th birthday happy today. Happy 49th, Loretta Lynn. Yes. So cool. I'm so glad you guys are spending it with us. I feel important. <laughs> now, three minutes ago, Celine said, Mark, can you zoom back in, please? I hope that I, I hope my, my zooming in has helped her. <laughs> yep, and I'm on an angle anyway. That's okay. <laughs> you guys know, right? Those of you that have been with me know that I always paint on an angle. Yes. Maybe I have to raise the easel like this. No, no, <laughs> just let it be. That's your trademark now. Just leave it like it is. It's okay. It's, you know, we, it's like hilarious. You said, how can we say that we're not about perfection, we're about expression, <laughs> and then you keep worrying about how everything is tilted? This is so funny. That's how we can identify <laughs> it's one of yours. All of the paintings that I do from the side, because it looks like really straight guys on this side. Even the, even the original. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. Watch. I'm going to zoom in to both paintings, and then you can see for yourself. Stop it. All right. See, I'm zooming in to both paintings. They're both. It's like it's down going down. Oh, like a slope. My <laughs> Look at that. That's your trademark. It's terrible. That's how, they, that's how people can identify if it's an original. Yeah, that's so true. If you find a straight painting, it's not Jennifer's. That's right. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Now see, Danielle Szymanski says, I, I can't wait to paint this. But um, today is not going as planned, so I think okay. tomorrow will be my day. There you go. Yeah, because we'll leave the video up for you, and yes. you can come back and paint it. You can paint both, Max and Cindy Lou tonight, yeah. and the Grinch tomorrow. Absolutely. Whenever you can make the time that's for right. your self-care, that's what it's all about. I know I have one or two of you that said that you turned your canvas sideways. Uh, you're doing it landscape. You've shrunk your... Um, all of them. You're, so you're doing the Grinch, Max, and Cindy Lou on all the same sideways. canvas, okay. which is a great idea. I can't wait to see some of those pictures. Right, because there's no rules here. No. <clears throat> and we, we know. Got, we got Gabrielle Guerrero. Hi, Gabrielle. Says, it's my 38th birthday Happy today. Happy birthday. Yeah, we love birthday. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. We love it. All right. So after we kind of fade down those mountains, we're going to rinse and dry. I'm going to have you go back to a little bit of white. So just a tad of white on that brush, not a whole lot. And we're going to put some snow on those little mountains. So from the right side of our mountains, instead of brushing down, yeah. I'm going to brush on an angle. Oh, let me, let me zoom in for that. Whoa, whoa, come on, stop. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I know, I have to call them again. Hold on, I'm <clears> getting <throat> in position. It's just like if, uh, there we go. If you just paint it, if you just, um, I press the button and then all of a sudden it just won't stop moving. Okay. All right, I got it right on the peaks. Awesome, okay, so we're just taking, lining up your brush on the edge and then just pulling down. And toward the left. On an angle. On your angle, yep. Oh, Grandma Pat says, uh, Hi, Grandma Pat. Errands and decorating today. Oh. I will try to do this tomorrow. Still waiting for a Twas the Night Before Christmas email with the sketch. You'll get that since you signed up for the, um, if you, did you order a kit? If you ordered a kit, we'll send you out the link, um, this week sometime. If you just ordered the link, you should have gotten that automatically. We'll okay. resend it to everybody, though, so don't worry. All right. Yep, we'll resend to everybody. All right, and then coming down on this one, bring that white down. And I'm gonna yeah, go. see, Anika McPherson says, I know what you're doing. It's the Mount Crumpet in the Cave of the Tip. <laughs> there you go. We have a little curve of Mount Crumpet on the other one, on Max and Cindy Lou. Okay. We're going to do the same on our little blue mountains here. Just kind of pulling that down. So again, just line up that brush right on the edge, on that right side, and then pull down. There we go. No, Kelly Jacob, you did not miss Cindy Lou and Max. Nope, it's tonight. Cindy Lou and Max is tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern yeah, Time. Yeah, yes. So we'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Erin Ara, you didn't miss the Golden Girl one. The Golden Girl one is still... Well, I mean, Golden you missed Girls. it live, but... <laughs> oh, you missed it live, but Golden Girls is still up. Yeah, it's supposed Didn't to... I put Golden Girls on YouTube? It is. It's on YouTube now. I put Golden Girls on YouTube. Yeah. So Golden Girls, this is up on YouTube. The sign, just click on the sign up to get your uh, the sketches off the website again. Okay. Anything that has a sketch, that's where the sign ups will be. Is or it'll say sign up, but that's where the sketches will be on website. And just go to YouTube, which is um, Mimosas Masterpieces. Just one word, Mimosas Masterpieces. Yep. Yeah. Yes, Griselda Navarro Rios says, can you slow down? Of course sure. we can. Sure. Yep, we'll take a break. Yeah, let's let's take a little break, and we'll, let's show you what we got coming up for a few minutes. How's that? All right. Take like three well, to five minutes. Well, everybody's still working on their mountains. Three to five minutes for you guys to work on your mountains. And then All right, we'll... let me see if I got the line up here. For <coughs> I did give you a new one right here. I got it right here. Okay. All right, well, we're rounding out this weekend. We're doing... Uh, 
We're doing, like I said before, we're doing Max and Cindy Lou tonight at 9 p.m. Yep. And the next time that we come on, we're going to be on Thursday night, December 3rd, 8 p.m. We're doing the leg lamp from A Christmas Story. There it is, right there. Okay. Um, it's going to be, what, this is a, almost a week from now, right? No, less than a week from now. Less but it's going to be on Thursday. Yep. So you can go and sign up for it on the website. Is that, does that require a sketch? Yes, please. Okay, so you know you know what you got to do if you want to get on with us <laughs> and do this on Thursday night. Yep. Okay, then the next day, Friday night, 9 p.m., we're doing Cousin Uncle. You got to have to tell me because I can't say the word. Cousin Eddie. <laughs> we're doing Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday night, December 4th. Again, a sketch is on there for this. Right, another sketch painting. So you got to sign up and get the sketch and get everything done before the week is out. And then you'll be ready to rock and roll with us when we get started. Yes. Okay. Now, that's Saturday, <coughs> December 5th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We're doing Twas the Night Before Christmas. Yes. Okay. We can't show you that one because it's hiding it's behind, behind our Grinch. Grinch. Okay. But that's a Zoom event. Yes. And if you want to join us for that event, then you got to go to the website and you got to click on that event and sign up for it. It's a fee for that one, right? Right, because we will have a, a special guest with us that day reading Twas the Night Before Christmas for us. Right. Okay, so that's that's the whole entire weekend of next week. All right? Then, <clears throat> com then coming after that, starting, you know, we're starting off the month of December here. And we're going to keep rocking and rolling all the way through the Christmas holiday. Okay, so Tuesday, December 8th at 8 p.m., we're doing the Jolly Gnome. We have... Okay, well, actually, we're doing Jolly Gnomes. I was going to say, we plural. have a bunch of different gnomes that you can, you know, you can pick from. So. All right. We've got Gnome with Christmas lights. So there is a set on our website if you just want the light kit that you can add to this painting or to our Peanuts painting coming up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can do that. So we've got the gnome with the Christmas lights. We've got a gnome with a dreidel. We've got a gnome with a Christmas uh, Christmas package. Yeah. Okay. Or you can put whatever you want in your gnome's hands. That's right. We know a couple of Harry Potter fans that have already yes. started painting their gnomes. Absolutely. In the Harry Potter uh, in the house colors. <laughs> I thought that was cute with a wand. Yes, that's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. So then that following Thursday, which is December 10th, we're doing the Christmas moose. The Christmas moose is uh, up in the right-hand corner. I'm going to slide over to that side right there. You see right there in the upper right-hand corner? I'm going to zoom in on. There he is. <laughs> okay, now, his lights are out because Jennifer didn't ever turn them off, and they just kept, <laughs> they just kept lighting up until they went out. But um, that comes with a kit. And it comes with a hat, and it comes with uh, the lights. You can order that. you got about a week. I don't know. If uh, you live far away, it's going to be difficult to get it to you in yeah, time. Yeah, actually, I have to check on, uh, once I finish filling orders today, if we have any left. Does the moose come so, with a sketch, or the moose is going to be able the to The moose will be freehand. All right, so you'll do freehand with yep, the moose. Yeah, so there's no sketch for the moose. And that is right. free, so you can sign up just to join us free. It just gives you your supply list where we'll be. Right, and if you need those supplies, you can order them from the website right there on that event. Yep. Okay, it, that means if you just want the brushes and the paint or whatever and not the hat and not the lights, it's all there for you, right? That's right. Okay, that's Thursday, December 10th at 8 p.m. Then that's Saturday night, nope, Saturday afternoon, excuse me, on December 12th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We're doing the Polar Express. Okay, Polar Express is right here over on the other side. Let me just let me just move over. Hold on. Just let me move a little bit at a time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Definitely got to get a new remote control. So There's Polar our Polar Express. Express. So this kit comes with. Um, so when you purchase it, first of all, it's free to paint online if you just want to paint. Okay. Right. You again, you'll have to download the sketch. It's just for the conductor. Everything else we're going to freehand together, okay. including the train. Um, this kit, though, comes with the um, <laughs> Rascal's Dreaming again. 
Um, the Believe Ornament, the uh, packet of hot cocoa, mm -hmm. package of chocolate chip cookies, and the first gift of Christmas, which is the bell. So it's a bell necklace. That's all that comes in the kit. That's what comes with the kit. And if you don't want the painting supplies, then you can just order the um, the accessory package. Okay. <clears throat> just to have a little bit of an interactive experience with us. Right. And then I see that Tuesday, December 15th at 8 p.m., you finally added the peanuts, paint it forward, I zoom. I did, yes. I took the lights off of him, but... Um, oh, you took the lights off of his house? I did. They kept falling off, so... Okay. Um, so, peanuts painting. This is a paint it forward. It is going to be a Zoom event. What we're asking for you guys to do, it's only a $5 Zoom. That $5, we're going to paint it forward. So we're donating to one of the charities or organizations that you guys choose. So every time you make a purchase for this Zoom link, we need you to add a comment in your order to tell us what charity or organization that you would like to see all of the funds go to. Right. We will pick one live that night. Okay? Okay. So if you want to send more than $5, just do four signups. All four of your signups will go to that one charity or organization's um, item. That's so a space on the wheel that we'll pick that organization from. See, now Suzanne Burgess says, I'm obsessed with Snoopy and Woodstock. Ah, uh, see? Another Snoopy and Woodstock fan. I'm so glad. Right. Who did you think Woodstock was again? I kept calling him Sonny. I don't know where you got that from. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know the way you call him. So somebody, so you heard of somebody calling him Sonny? No, not necessarily. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because he's got like that head that looks like a sun. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how we doing, guys? What do we think? Doing pretty good. Um, I just want to say uh, something here from Shannon sure. Armijo. Hi, Shannon. Says thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Being tested for COVID and had to self quarantine oh, and was sweetie. leaving my mind, oh. not being able to do anything. Well, now you have something to do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Aw, hopefully you're okay and you're feeling all right. Um, stay safe, stay healthy. <laughs> Lisa Pratt said, I mean, Woodstock is yellow. <laughs> I, right? I mean, he's yellow. His hair looks like it's whatever. His feathers look like, he looks like a sun. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, Heather says, yeah, you was thinking about Sonny and Cher. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I have no idea. From the hippie times. <laughs> That's very possible. Oh. I mean, I'm not quite that old, but... <laughs> uh, Stephanie Austin says, are you sending Zoom meeting number and passcode to email for the Twas the Night Before Christmas? Yes, we will. We will send everybody that information right bef a couple days before we go live. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We will... want to continue on. Yes, you got it. All right. So, rinsing and drying that little, that uh, half-inch flat brush again. This time, I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow. So, just a smidge of my yellow, and I'm going to bring it over here so we add a little bit of white to it. Just a little. Just a little bit of white to the yellow? Just a little bit of white. And then we're going to, instead of coming down on an angle this time, we're going to come down this way. Oh, so it's kind of like a little uh, highlight from the sun shining on those snow-capped mountains. Okay. So just kind of bringing that down. We're going to do that on each one. Or where, where you've already had shades yep, of right white. Yep, right over your white. Right okay. over those whites. Or all your mountains. Yep. <clears throat> so we've got those little yellow peaks on those mountains mm -hmm. and then with that yellow still I'm just going to brush some of that yellow real lightly in our background so it's kind of like little reflections of the sun in that snow somewhere okay okay you're gonna it's gonna look like turns a little bit green in some areas but that's well, let okay me, let me zoom out because i had it on the mountains oh sorry so i'm just lightly brushing some of that yellow in the background. That's in a couple of areas. And then you 
can rinse and dry. So you put that yellow, can you show where you put that yellow again? Because when you started doing it, I was in the mountain. Sure. Yep. So I just used a little bit of that light yellow and just brushed in a couple of areas and then I just kind of went over it. Just on a couple of areas. Yeah, you don't have to do the whole thing, but a couple of streaks in the background. Just kind of like little reflections from our sun. Okay. Trying to even that out a little bit. <clears throat> and then you can rinse and dry. Rinse, dry, and then we'll go on to starting to paint our Grinch. Our mean now, um, um, I just want to reiterate for our new newcomers. Sure. Okay, I just read off some of the upcoming events, you know, that we have coming up uh, next week and the week after. And this is the time where you go to the website and you look at all the information and you decide what you want to do, you know, what paintings that you might be interested in, and you read and get all the information or get all the things that you need, like the supplies, the kits, um, um, sketches if possible, all of that stuff is there. And then while you're there, if you go to our YouTube page and you see paintings that you like there, you can still get the same information and same kits and supplies for those events yes. that are on the YouTube page. So that way you'll be able to go through the website and look for the things that you think are interesting enough for you to do. Okay? It's all about educating yourself. If you're enjoying what you're doing here with us and you want to come back, then uh, you can basically do what you want. You can go and get your own supplies if you have a place where you can go. Yep, absolutely. But okay. we have multiple size kits, though. So we know if you don't want to do a, a 16 by 20 kit, there's 11 by 14s. There's 10 by 20s, there's 12 by 12s. So we've built different kits for different price breaks, okay? Right. And the, and the <coughs> website is mimosasmasterpieces.com. Mm -hmm. That's the word mimosas <laughs> and the word mimasterpieces.com. You put them together yep. to make one word. Very good. How do you get the paint thicker? Annette wants to know. Thicker. So, well, I guess it depends what kind of paint you're using. Right. Um, so I use, the paints that I'm using right now are a Flow Acrylic, and it's just a Michaels brand. I mean, I don't know where you guys are located, but it's just an Artist Loft Michaels brand um, acrylic. Um, I also use Jerry's, Art, Jerry's Artorama, like I, I've shown you guys before. So I'll show you what happens. There's different types of grades of paints. So Flow Acrylic by Michaels is, is a lot thinner than something like this Jerry's brand, which is a more heavy bodied paint. If you can tell, you can see the difference. This is never going to run. These are going to run. Um, but making it thicker is not something that you can really do. Um, you can maybe let it dry a bit and then paint over again to give yourself another layer or so. Okay. Um, you can always thin it, but you can't really make it thicker. Okay. I want to <laughs> shout out to Stephanie Patton. She says she turned 50 on the 7th. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Yes, happy, happy birthday. 50th. That's so cool. Way to go. Brooks Lee says, is anyone still on the blue background? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but if you need help for the next step, let us know. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now one of our top one of our top fans yeah. and regular um, viewers yeah. is Celine. Yes, Celine. And Celine says, "What I do is I print everything that is coming up. There you go. And I stretch them all. Mm. And if I if I can, if I'm busy, I just know everything is ready. There you go. She's the regular. Thanks, Celine. <laughs> Lisa Pratt says this is a really fun thing to do." Thanks for making this. I have recently fell off a horse. Oh my god! Got a minor concussion and can't ride this week. But these paintings will make me feel way less bored. Aww. And that's what it is. Only about your self care time. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry about the the fall. Now I'm never gonna get Mark on a horse. Are you out of Are you out of <laughs> kits for the You're out of kits for the the, the um, Which one? The uh, Polar Express. No, no. Polar you, Express is still available. You still have kits for that, but are you out yep. of kits for anything? 
out of kits for the the moose. Twas the night before Christmas for sure. I'm okay. out of that one. Out of that one. But I I have to check on the moose after I fill orders today because I think I may be done with hats. Okay. But there is a light kit available, so you could always just buy a 16 by 20 kit. And paint a hat on the head. You can paint a hat. We'll show you how to paint a hat. Okay. And you can always, if you do want the lights, you can always just buy a light kit and add I'll a light do it kit. That way. Yep. And Colleen Elizabeth, Max, and Max and Cindy Lou are going to be on tonight at 9 p.m. Yes. Eastern time. We'll, we'll be, be back. back on. Yes, we will. We're going to take a little break. We're going to do our spin for our winners for Elf on the Shelf from yesterday. Okay. And then we'll be pretty much right back to do Max and Cindy Lou. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, now Maria D. Ramirez says, I am new. I don't have paint. But I sketch the Grinch okay. and use color pencils to color him in. Oh, there you and go. And I do it on a postcard. Oh, that's cute. What a great idea. It will be used as holiday cheer. That's awesome. Please take a picture of it and send it to us. Yeah, we love because that. Because we have, we've had people in the past do exactly what you just said, what you yep. just did. We've seen people do digital painting. We've seen, I saw somebody that sent in their photos that painted our Moonlight Snowmen on pennies. Okay, on pennies. So, you know, I don't know what kind of two bristle brushes that he must have been using or she must have been using. Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> that was incredible. We've seen you guys do them on pieces of wood and we've seen people do it on cardboard and poster board. Whatever you have that works and whatever makes you happy, just do it. It's okay. There's no rules. There's no rules. That's the best part about art. Absolutely. Jerry DeAngelis. Yes. She said, oh, oh, man, I totally forgot today. <laughs> it's okay. Said, can I do this later? Of course. Of course you can. We'll be posting a video as soon as we're done here. And you can do it today. You can do it tomorrow. At least up until a week later on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows? It might be up on the YouTube page in no time. Yeah. I, I may have Mark just put it right up on the YouTube page. And then we'll just send you the link. That's probably the best way to do it. So maybe when we're done, we, you can download this tomorrow. And now we got somebody else here saying, yes, I'm watching and I'm using my color pencils. There you go. So glad someone else is doing mm -hmm. the same thing. That's right. Doesn't you do whatever you can to have fun <laughs> time with us. That's right. All right. How we doing? Who was behind? Are you guys okay? If I move on. <clears throat> Uh, Michelle Deal says, can I still find the Elf on the Shelf? Yep, it's Absolutely, up there. Elf on the Shelf is right here on the Facebook page. It is. These little decals are so cute. I have three sets to give away. They're like, um, they're Max, Cindy Lou. Put up your nails? Yeah, the Grinch. They got to zoom in close enough to oh, see. Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to um, try. I'm zooming You're in. You're going to see how dry and dirty my hands I'm really, really are. I'm zoomed in. Let me see. I can get a little closer. So there's a Grinch. You can barely see. <laughs> I got uh, your hands superimposed. <laughs> like I'm closer. <laughs> but there's there's Max, Cindy Lou. So I have three sets of these as our giveaways. Um, I'm, and once I took all that stuff out to do that, and then Aiden wanted to paint his nails, and then he painted my toenails this morning. How do I get this thing off my computer? Uh oh. I've got to restart to install. No, no. Can we just cancel? It just popped up. I don't want to click on it because I don't want anything to start. No, just click restart tonight. There you go. And it'll go away. How for dare now. they do that while we're doing a live video? <laughs> it's okay. Okay. It's okay. All good. All right. Oh, let me back, back out because you took your fingers out of the picture. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our Grinch. I'm okay. going to rinse and dry that medium round brush we're going to go to. So now you completed the background. Yep, we're completing with our background. that's how it looks, right there. Yep, you got so it. So now you're absolutely ready to start your gray. That's right. So medium round brush, I'm going to rinse and dry. Really? Yeah, really. Is that Aiden? I don't know, what time is it? Yeah, maybe. It's 4 o'clock. No, I don't think it's. 
No, because Aiden would open the door. The door is open. Yeah. All right, I'm going to rinse and dry, medium round brush. And then I'm going to, let's mix some of our red. So here's the thing with our red. So our red, as is, is pretty transparent. So it's going to come out looking like a pink. Okay? So what I do is I take about a scoop of red, a little scoop of red, two scoops of red, and then I'm going to take a little scoop of yellow. Not enough to turn it orange, but it just sort of turns it, um, kind of gives it a little bit of a depth of color so that it, um, oh my goodness. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hearing Mark with the kids upstairs. There's other kids that are trying to look for Aiden. <laughs> so that adding that little yellow to the red gives it some depth of color so that it's not as transparent and it's opaque. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. So see the difference? There's almost, this is the original, which is pink. And then this is that darker red that we just added a little bit of yellow to. Okay, so I'm going to just paint that in. Okay, and when we get close to those edges, you can always rinse and dry that brush. Rinse and dry good, get it back to a point. Mr. Dillon. Yeah, Cindy Lou Who was here. Oh, Cindy Lou was I here. I couldn't bring her downstairs. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to bring her downstairs. Aww. They brought Aiden a Christmas, I mean, a birthday present. Aww. Too cute. And I was like, can we bring Cindy Lou downstairs? He said, no, we're about to go somewhere. Said, oh. <laughs> Just for a second. It made me want to run outside again to say, come on back in, please. Just come downstairs for a second. Oh, my goodness. You guys are too funny. All right, so I'm just filling in with my red. And again, I just mix a nice big scoop of my red with a little bit of yellow so that our red is not as transparent. Oh, man, I should have took a picture. <laughs> it would be so nice to show everybody here who we're talking about because we'd have somebody look just like Cindy Lou Lou. She's adorable. She really is. What she had on this little coat that had a little uh, hoodie on her with a little fur around her. So she really looked like Cindy Lou. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. All right. It's amazing when you find people that look like characters, you know? <laughs> I'm just going right around those little edges. Again, if you happen to go over it, it's okay. They don't have to be exact. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just filling those little areas in. Yeah, let me zoom in closer. It's all right. We're just filling in his suit. Yeah, now let me get back up here and look at these, look at everybody's comments and see if anybody I needs any. anything. Sorry. You know what I need to do? I need to make a sign for the door. That we're in progress. Do inside. not. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to explain to them, we're doing a live right now. We're doing a, <laughs> the cringe. And she said, oh, 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 okay. I said, Aiden's not here right now. That's funny. He's out. Yeah. Do not ring bell. I need, I can redo that e-learning sign. I'll just say, recording in progress. Do not ring bell unless you have wine. There you go. <laughs> That's the only way you can get it, huh? Unless I must sign for alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Barbara Bland Hartman says, are you guys married? You work this well together. Uh, we, we're sort of married. <laughs> yeah, we're sort of married. <laughs> we don't have the piece of paper, but it's certainly... We've been together for I'm hers. several years. So I was hers the day she came and got me. Oh, stop. <laughs> she came and got me. <laughs> and I went willingly. Oh, stop it. I I knew her before she came and got me. <laughs> so when she came and got me, I was like all for it. No problem. It's like you're hitchhiking. Come on in, let's go. <laughs> it was almost like that. It was not. <laughs> stop you it. You came and claimed me. I wasn't taken and you came and got me and I said yes because oh. I knew who you were and I was like, yeah. Oh. I fit right into this woman's life right here. Yeah, yeah, and we work well together. I don't tell her what to do. She doesn't tell me what to do. 
Um, she's good at things that I'm not, and I'm good at things that she's not. We work together perfectly. And when we don't agree, we might not agree on certain things, but um, we don't hold grudges, and I don't hold on to it. I just let it go, and she lets it go, or she'll ignore me if I start acting crazy. <laughs> And I don't get offended when she ignores me when I start acting crazy. Don't make me laugh because I don't get paid when I'm laughing. Oh, gosh. I love her, protect her, love her son, protect him. And anything that she wants to do like this, I encourage her. And I keep her from getting any negative energy or any negative vibes. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a bit over the last few days. Yeah, but it all works itself out because we're just doing the right thing for each other, so... That's how it works. What's most in. important is that we reach the audience, you guys, and we do things to make your lives feel positive and feel better. That's the basis for what we do here. Like she says, it's not about putting paint on a canvas. That's just part of what we do here. That's right. That's right. You get, you get the comedy show right along with it. You get the animals, the zoos, because, you know, we got... The birds are actually quiet, speaking of which, it's crazy. The birds are quiet. Yeah, that's sort of weird, because normally they're making noise, but, uh... Wow, the birds are quiet, and Rascal is sleeping at my feet, as always. Yo, Rascal's tired. <sighs> yeah, Rascal paced all night last night, because Aiden slept on the couch and not in his bedroom, so Rascal was... Um, A little out of sorts. In, in the hallway, waiting on me to, like, try to open up the door for him. I got that look when I was like, nope, sorry. <laughs> it's like, really? Really, Mom? So get your red in there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, Kaylee Corvo, Hi, Kaylee. who's one of our regulars, said, I fell asleep and missed the start of this. It's okay. And I haven't done it for a while, but will the video be up later? Of, of course. course it will. Yep, of course. That's right. Oh, you want to see Rascal, Julie? Oh, my. Let's In, see. With my PJ bottoms and my... Yeah, Rascal's uh, pretty good right now because he's sleeping. Yeah, he's... Let's see if I can get him all the way down on the floor. He's too, <laughs> he's being a good boy today. Go all the way down. There he is. <laughs> see, he's knocked out cold. He's always at Jennifer's feet. Yeah. And then when the time comes up, when it's time and time is up, <laughs> then he'll wake up and he'll start jumping up on Jennifer saying, okay, mommy, that's it. Let's end this painting. True. And let's go upstairs and let's go have some fun. That's what happens. I forgot. Yeah, we're going to have a rascal day, right? We're going to paint rascal. We are. We're going to paint a rascal. We, I haven't done the painting yet because I want to wait until the, the rascals come in. <laughs> oh, that's right. You ordered... Uh, we have, we made, we had plush rascal dogs made that look similar to him. I won't say they look exactly, but they look similar to him. Um, so we're going to paint a rascal. We're probably going to do a, a fundraiser again. We'll probably do a paint it forward for Wise Animal Rescue, which is where we got him from. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the president of the rescue met with Aiden and I. Um, she chatted with me and... The moment she met Aiden, and Aiden asked her a billion questions about Rascal and, you know, how to care for him and where does he sleep and what are his habits and what are his traits. And um, and I explained to her previously that Aiden was on the spectrum and that he um, he's very OCD about several things. Uh, we met with her and we took Rascal for a walk for a little while. We chatted and she just handed him the leash and said, here you go. I think you got this, buddy. So um, when it came time to uh, pay for the adoption fee, I said, okay, well, like, how do we do this? What do we do? She didn't want anything. She just said, nope, they are a match made, um, and they have been certainly. And when you didn't have to pay, what did you do? Um, we decided to, to pay it forward for the next person, so we paid for the next person's adoption. Instead of having to pay, you just took the money we, and just said, well, we'll pay for somebody else's. Right. We, with That's the pretty intention, much what you do all the time. Right. We <laughs> wanted to make sure that another dog... <laughs> Had their had a new home for Christmas because it was probably close to this time last year that we got him. Mm -hmm. It was it was in December, but um, but yeah, so he's been well loved ever since, for sure. <laughs> okay, the only reason I brought that up is because um, that's one of the many reasons why I love Jennifer. 
okay? Because she's like my mom. Oh, my Okay, gosh. my mom does stuff like that. <laughs> she takes money and says, oh, well, you know, if I didn't have to pay, then I'll pay for somebody else's. Or she's selfless like that. Okay, when we first started doing these these things, uh, these sessions, and the very first night we did it, people was giving her tips, and she started crying because we wasn't even expecting anything like that. And we got so many tips, she started crying and all, didn't know what to do. What did she do with the tips? We, we had another session, and a whole bunch of kids was coming on saying, you know, we're, we're in the house because of COVID, and we didn't get to celebrate our birthdays. And once you heard two kids say that, then a whole bunch of other kids came in, and the next thing you know, she was buying all of these little gifts <laughs> and making little presents and stuff for all these kids that came on the Internet while we were doing our painting sessions and saying they didn't have, they have birthdays coming up. And then the ones that lived in our area, I drove to maybe like 30 <laughs> different houses and dropped off little bags of gifts and stuff for them that she bought with the money that she got from the tips that we got. And that's so that's pretty much, <laughs> that's that's pretty much what she does. It got a little out of hand, but it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it did get out of hand because I was the one driving all over New Jersey giving out uh, these little gifts for everybody, but it was still a fun I think thing I even called, I did, I called a bakery in Canada. Yeah, because, you did. And, and, I, and I had a cupcake delivered to the kid in Canada because to ship something from here to Canada was just ridiculous. It, couldn't, it was just not worth it. So I looked up where this kid was located and I found a bakery that was nearby and I made, and sure, them, exactly. <laughs> made sure they delivered a cupcake for his birthday. That's right. Uh, and the kid was ecstatic, sent the picture Everything, mom, dad was happy. It was like, wow, nobody does this. You and know, I said, yeah, my Jennifer does. Everybody's important. Everybody deserves to feel important and respected and appreciated. So that is what I like to make sure we do. That's it. All right. So from our red, we can go to our green. So how do we make green? Okay. Okay, we're going to zoom in so you can show them. I'm going to rinse and dry. And I'm going to go to that smaller brush because there's a lot of smaller details for um, for the green. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the smaller brush to mix. So it's a, let's do two or three scoops of yellow. Two, three scoops of that yellow color. And then I'm going to take just a little bit, just a little blue to that yellow. And we're going to mix. So it's probably three times the amount of yellow to how much blue I'm using. And you'll mix until you get a green that you like. <laughs> Tyler O'Sullivan Sullivan says uh, uh, about their dogs is our dogs are passed out, mm. and our eight-month-old Odin is asleep on my shoulder. Odin, and so oh, I'll have I love to, I'll have to finish my painting later. Aww, but I love Fern that name. is still going strong. Because I showed I showed them let Rascal laid out at your feet. <laughs> I love the names. So sweet. All right. So with our green, I'm going to start down here in his uh, in his legs. Yeah. Now Lori Dawn says I accidentally made the Grinch's legs red because uh, I thought it was red. Oops. Well, he could be wearing a he could be wearing Santa suit, right? Right. He can have so, red legs. There's no it's okay. rules. If this is so, if you if you really want to paint over it. Let, you'll have to let it dry. You probably have to paint white over it first because your green is not going to probably cover your red well. All right. So you have to, hope she heard that. So, so if you painted red accidentally and you want to go over it, let it dry, paint over with white, and then let that dry, and then go over with green. So it's a little bit of a process for that. Right. Danielle's wanting to know if we're going to be doing the Snoopy painting in the back. Yes. The Snoopy painting is going to be on December 15th at 8 p.m., but it's a Zoom event. It's yep. a Paint It Forward event. Paint It Forward. So we're we're giving the money back. We're giving all the proceeds back to charity, to a charity that you guys help us choose. It's right. going to be a random. Right, you guys pick the charity. So if you um, if you donate $10, so that $5 is a donation. So if you do donate $10, we're going to put your charity or organization on the wheel two times. If you donate $25, we'll put it on five times. So... The more chances or the more uh, donations that we have for that organized organization or charity, the more chances that they, that get to win they would win it. Yep. And so. then that's where the money will go that we raised for that night will go to that charity. Yes. Okay. Yep. So um, so it, it's just going to be a spin. You know, we're going to spin to win. So it's all about a chance, you know? Yes. <clears throat> um, 
I'm gonna, so my brush is kind of built up a little bit messy with some paint. I'm gonna rinse and dry to get that back to a point so that we have a, we have some of these little smaller areas like his hands and up in his face to get into. So I wanna get that brush back to a little point to continue. And then I can come in all these little areas. And uh, yes, Rachel folks, yes, we will be posting this video as soon as we're done yep. with this live uh, session. And then we're back on later tonight at 9 p.m. to do Max and Cindy Lou, and that will be posted as well. Yes, it will. And I um, and what I will what I would like to express again to everyone who's new here is that we have a YouTube channel, and um, that's basically where mostly that's basically where all of our live free live events will end up on the YouTube channel. Yes. All right. So if you ever go there to visit. Just go to Mimosa's Masterpieces, one word, and you'll find it. You'll see the logo, and then you'll see all of the different paintings that we've done since we began this in March. And I think you've added our intro to almost all of them, right? Yeah, the majority of them, almost all of them have our intro. And our intro is um, coming down from out of the sky, right into our front door, where you'll see Aiden in the living room saying hi to you. It'll go he'll it'll with go right vacuum. by Aiden. <laughs> yep, with his vacuums. It'll go right by him and around the corner and down into our studio. And then you'll see me at the bottom of the stairs. It'll go past me over to the map where we put pins for every place where everybody who's ever painted with us. Yeah, so if you're a first timer, make sure you know where know you where guys are from. painting from so we can add you to the map. Right. And then uh, it comes back from the map, back over to me. And I wave hi, and then it goes straight to Jennifer and Rascal, and then it says, let's begin. That's it. And every painting that we've done is the thumbnail for whatever video it is that you're interested in doing. So you see a painting on that, um, for that video, and you like it, and then you just click on it, and it'll begin. And it, the description will tell you what you need for that painting, whether what kind of brushes, what kind of paint colors. Uh, what kind of canvas and you can also order all the supplies for any one of those paintings on our website yeah everything is there we're we're trying to make it more reasonable for some of you that have had our kits already and you have a great set of brushes that we've sent you you don't need a whole kit again so there are just refill kits so you'll just get your paint you'll just get your canvas and the um, the apron, the disposable apron, the disposable plates, um, with that, you won't have the brushes in it. And again, we've changed, so you don't have to get a 16 by 20, you can get an 11 by 14, so you can scale down and you can do even more <laughs> painting. Right, now I've got a bunch of questions here. Go ahead. Okay, well, Krishna Patel, Hi. where can we get the kits? We can't seem to find them on your page. They're not on our page, they're on our website. Yeah. Our it's website Sinachi. is mimosasmasterpieces.com. Yep. Okay. Then the next question is, um, what time zone are you in? Naomi Labs Faulkner. We're doing Max and Cindy Lou at 9 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Time. We're in South Boundbrook, New, New Jersey, Jersey. So we're Eastern Time Zone. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Rachel says, did you say Max and Cindy Lou is tonight at 9? Yes. Yeah. 9 p.m. Eastern. That's and right. And then Rachel says, Hocus Pocus was our favorite. Yes. Mine is still in my room. Yay. Now, Hocus Pocus hasn't been put up on the YouTube channel yet, but it will be soon. Yeah. It's still up on our website, though, for download. It's a small fee to download. Right. Um, but, yes, it's available if you really want to do it. Otherwise, you know, hang out a couple more weeks and maybe And then we'll put it up on the up YouTube there. channel. <laughs> That's right. So, okay, we have our green and we have our red. You guys give us some thumbs up so we know you're ready and I don't move on too quickly. And in the meantime, <laughs> I'll talk to you about... What we got coming up for next year. In January. But see, just before you do that, okay. as soon as we started talking about the map, and people started putting up their... Putting their up their, <laughs> yeah, they started their repping location. their states and their cities. Oh, good. Like Julie Ogden in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Sarah Thomas, Iowa. 
Awesome. Okay, Adele Lehman, West Springfield, Pennsylvania, near Erie, Pennsylvania. Okay. Lori, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Yay. Okay, Taunton, Massachusetts. Good job. All right, now we'll zoom in on the face. Now you can go right there. There you go. <laughs> I'm zooming in on we'll the face. We'll zoom in on the face, but we'll chat and I'll show you some things that we have coming up still. So in January, um, we are beginning, and this there is a promo happening until Monday for this. So in January, we are going to begin a series. It's a series of four for right now mm -hmm. of Zoom with the Zoo. So we'll be on location live at the Lehigh Valley Zoo in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. to paint with, on January 10th, penguins. So for my penguin lovers, we'll be painting. I got to back out now because I'm zoomed in on the face. Oops, sorry. So the green goes everywhere on the face except for the eyes, nose, and that, and uh, his eye lashes, and that little crease next to his left eye. Okay, I'm zoomed out now. You can show them what okay. we got coming up. So there's our penguin set. Again, so there is a set. There is just the 16 by 20 that you could do both on, or there is um, just the single um, 10 by 20, I believe. Mm -hmm. So there's multiple kit options for this series. It's a Zoom series, so there's a Zoom fee if you just want to join for the Zoom. And that's um, January 10th. That one's January 10th. January 23rd is the Rainbow Boa, mm -hmm. which is, where's the Rainbow Boa? Rainbow Boa. So this one is just going to be a Zoom. Oops, sorry, Rascal. Rainbow oh. Boa. This is just going to be a Zoom. We aren't going to be live in person for that one. Yeah, she doesn't want to be near the, she doesn't <laughs> want to be near the snake. <laughs> Come on, Aiden had a whole snake phase. I'm fine. <laughs> I told her I would hold the snake, but she said, no, nah, never mind. It's okay. <laughs> February 14th, Valentine's Day. We will be there with the sloths. So we'll be painting live with a sloth in person at the Lehigh Valley Zoo. And the last one is February 28th is, we're gonna do a, a session with owls and this is a barred owl. Yes. So we'll be live at the zoo with a couple of owls. The zoo will kind of give their little um, presentation on the animals for a few minutes, take some Q and A from us for you guys. Absolutely. We get a little bit of inspiration to see the animals up close and personal. And, and then I'm, we still paint in, them. I'm still in negotiation with the zoo to get the sloth to paint <laughs> with Jennifer. And the greatest awesome part about this for you guys is that when you purchase a kit, you get to put in the running of the round for uh, to be with us as our VIP guest. So you could come with us to the zoo for all of these sessions. Right. Right now, the special on the website for this Zoom with the Zoo series is buy three, get one free. And that's all of them. So you would go to, you would do all of them. Because we're only doing three in-person sessions, you have mm. a fourth um, opportunity, let's say, or a spot that you could choose to put in any of the other three to come with us. Right. So again, how I do my raffle things is kind of a spinner. So we put your name on a spinner for that opportunity. We'll spin live um, on the 23rd of December for the January 10th event. Okay, so that's a good couple of weeks ahead yep. before it happens. Hi, baby. That's right. So that so is. So you get to win a place to join us. Yes. Live, live at the zoo. At the zoo. And you get to bring a guest of your choice. Right. So it is a VIP session for two of you. And we'll give them a kit so they can paint with us live. And you can leave your kit at home and we'll give you new supplies when you get there. All right. How awesome. Yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so I guess we may so be put on camera. We'll have you sign a release form because <laughs> we're going to film you painting with us and uh, whatever it is, whether it's the penguins or the sloth that's right. or the owl. That's right. So, um... So check out the website. Those are awesome experience gifts for for kids, for adults that love to paint, for adults that love animals, kids that love animals. Um, all of them will be freehand painted. There's no sketches that will go to any of these. Um, it will be on Zoom, so you can just buy in for the Zoom link. Still, if you want just the three buy Zoom links, get one free, you can do it that way as well. That promo is available. Um, but yes, we're, I'm so excited for that set up series. Yes, Colleen Elizabeth, our YouTube channel is 
Mimosas, masterpieces, one word. Yep. Just like that. You got it. Susan says, um, yes, because I clicked I'm interested, the reminder comes up in my local time zone. Beautiful. Pacific yes, that's what I thought. Time. Exactly. Yeah, we. I, I know there was some confusion sometimes when we were putting out Facebook events, but it should automatically update to your time zone. So. Yeah, I'm being yeah. requested to zoom back in on the face, please. Oh, <laughs> no problem. So we have his suit done, his body done. All we have left are the whites, the white areas, and his eyes and our outlining. We're almost there, Rascal. Yeah, it's okay, Rascal. Take it easy. Relax, my boy. Yeah, I had to zoom in on the eyes. A couple of people are requesting to see the eyes closer. Oh. All right, Oof. now, what she was just talking about in January, that's just the beginning, okay? We have a lot more great, new, innovative, creative things that we're going to spring on you uh, once the new year begins. One of those things is we're contemplating doing a live stream on YouTube, but we're going to have you guys figure out what it is you want to paint yeah. and when we're going to do it. That's right. All right, so stay tuned for that uh for that type of information that we'll be giving out in the next few weeks. Maybe we should do the Bob Ross tribute that way. To start off with the Bob Ross tribute? Yeah. That's a good idea. But we still want to let them be the ones to decide if that's, that's what right. they want to do. Absolutely. And maybe get them to, uh, to uh, set up the first four events or, on YouTube. But we're definitely going to have some live on YouTube. Yes. And um, like we do everything here. It's all with your suggestions and your ideas. Yes, everything that we paint is a suggestion that you guys have given us. I don't. I think the last thing that I painted that was my own idea or thing that kind of came was that uh, that hot air balloon. Everything else I've painted has been your suggestions. Right, and we don't care if it's ten people that want to paint it, <laughs> or it's a thousand or four thousand people that want right. to paint it. That's right. If you suggested it, then we're going to consider it. We're going to try and we got the it. time, we can squeeze it in, then we will. We are trying. And what happens most of the time is Jennifer will figure it out. She'll say, okay, I'm going to paint this tonight. And then she says, I'm going to see if they want it because that's what they asked for. And then she posts it and says, uh, what did you say? Paint or pass. Paint or pass. And then that's when we decide whether we're going to paint this painting or not. That was funny. When, when I painted the Nightmare Before Christmas painting, which was not, I, I am not a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, but I painted it anyway because there were several suggestions. Mm -hmm. And I posted paint or pass, and the very first response I saw said pass. And I was like, yeah, see, that's what I thought. Nah. <laughs> and then uh, over the next couple of hours, man, were we wrong. We definitely, <laughs> we, <laughs> you guys made that reach over 5 million people. Yeah. By sharing it and commenting it and commenting on it and your engagement in it. So we did not, we didn't sponsor or pay Facebook to share it anywhere. You guys did it all because mm -hmm. you were so interested in that. So holy cow, that was like so crazy. And we had close to 4,000 people with us that well, day. We had over 4,000 people. It was so... That's our record. We have not broken that, our record yeah, since then. Yeah, I don't know that we would... I don't know that we'll break that. I don't know what would break that record. Well, if you look up above over the Grinch, yeah. on the left, you see Jack. Yes. And that's because we're, we, um, you we're guys revisiting. Asked. People ask to do it again. So we, we are revisiting and doing a different version of Jack. On December 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And earlier that day on, nine, um, on the 19th at 3 p.m. we'll be doing Sally. Yep. Okay, yep. so we, re we, we are revisiting the Nightmare Before Christmas just before Christmas because people have to <laughs> ask for it again. You guys love it, so we'll do it. Whatever you like. And one of our top fans, Laura Sullivan, says, Hi, Laura. A suggestion for your Zoom events. Yes, please. Post them on YouTube a year later. Uh, we got to beat. Oh, we yeah, already girl. started posting our Zoom events. We're, we're on gonna YouTube. definitely, we're definitely going there. Um, because we are trying to offer as many free events as we can, uh, we need to figure out ways to monetize a little bit better. Because, uh, girl, you guys, you have no idea. Um, I still work full time, so I come home at between three thirty, four o'clock, and then I have an hour with Aiden. Have dinner. Mark usually cooks. 
Um, and then I come down here until 2 or 3 in the morning almost every night. So the amount of time that I'm putting into this is probably 12 to 18 hours a day. Um, we, we definitely are nowhere near being able to leave our, leave our full-time jobs. But, um, but, we, but it brings me so much joy to see so many of you enjoying this that I can't bear to like give, give it up. So I, I wouldn't give it up. But, um, but we need to figure out a way to monetize it so that I can do this for our full time and, and, that's and make what I it work. Do. I want to do it full time um, too. Yeah. I'm a laboratory operations manager. I work <laughs> in laboratories with scientists all day, all the time. And I would love to get out of that world and, yeah. um, and do something like this because I'm an actor and a filmmaker. And um, you know I like, I like doing artistic things and I like doing positive things for people. Absolutely. And, um, we both agree that yeah. we both would love to do this for a living you know yeah. and i dream really big okay <laughs> i'm sitting here saying uh jennifer we're going to have a tv show <laughs> and we're going to take the bob ross spot we cannot be bob ross we never will be no. never could be but there's that spot okay where people take the time off to paint yeah we'll need a two-hour show because it takes about an hour and a half to do a painting the same way we're doing it here right now so while we're doing this the way we do it we're trying to perfect that so that we can have a, some type of a cable show where we'd be able to travel and go to different states so we could have you come and join us and uh, or have yes. you come to the studio and paint with us. Or, you know, there's so many limitless opportunities and options that we could have. We had TV money and we had a TV show mm -hmm. and just have people do self-care time. They could DVR it and then paint it the same way that you're taking the video and painting the video. Um, you know, it's all that kind of thing. It'll be self-care. It could be on a Thursday night. Yep. -er. Got a lot of ideas. We just want to see how far <laughs> we can take them. All right. So our next step, I'm going to rinse and dry, and then we're going to go to, if you're not using it already, that tinier brush um, for detail. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow on that brush, and we'll do the outside of his eyes with that light yellow, or with that yellow doesn't have to be light yellow, just regular yellow. So we'll do that yellow in there first. Let me zoom back in. Oh, sorry. I'm zoomed right in on the eyes. Very good. Okay, now you got people making suggestions that we've already... That we okay, have? Okay, Nicole Richard says, we should do Ralphie in his bunny outfit oh, from girl, Christmas Story. Oh, girl, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm already working doing on it. it. Working on it. I didn't post the event yet, so... I promise it'll get up there. It'll be there before Christmas. At least a man said, <laughs> what green did you use? I mixed a green. So I just took big scoop of my Can yellow. Can you lift it up? Because I have it on the face. Big scoop of my yellow. You, know, and you the... got to lift it all the way up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, I took a big scoop of my yellow, and then I took a little bit of my blue at a time, and I mixed until I had a green that I liked. Okay, yeah, it's perfect right over his face. Okay. That's what I have. If you want to get this darker... Without adding blue, you can always add a tiny bit of brown if you want to. If you have brown, um, you can try a tiny bit of red. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that might work too. Adding a tiny, tiny bit of red will make it a darker green. See now, Mackenzie Purdy says, it's my boyfriend and I, five year anniversary Happy today. anniversary. Yes. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Oh, Stephanie Austin asks a good question that sometimes sometimes people always ask you. Go ahead. What do you do with all your paintings? Because uh, you just well, seem to amass a whole lot of paintings. You're painting almost every day. Yes, we do. So, <laughs> uh, aside from blocking Mark into his office, because there's about a hundred of them in there. Yeah, where I edit everything. And, and... Um, so I've been taking them to a, lo a local nursing home facility, or a couple of them and donating them. So we just kind of, I bring them in to, to a assisted living community and they use, they use them for prizes for bingo yeah. <laughs> or games, whatever I guess they do. But, um, I we thought appreciate it. they really do. It's so funny. Um, I feel, so those of you that have been with us before know how I feel like I kind of feel awkward hand, like giving somebody a painting that I've done as a gift because people are like, you do this every day. You're just trying to get rid of it. No. <laughs> you know? So what I like to do is add a frame to it, and that really changes, 
really changes the outlook on it. So, um, I mean, this is the it does. This is the Golden Girls one that we did. I mean, I would feel strange handing somebody like, oh, here you go, you can have this canvas. Yeah. Um, I like putting it in a frame, and this is how my mom will get her painting this year for Christmas. Um, I like putting it in a frame, and it, I don't know, it makes it a, a piece. I don't know, it makes it, it a real it makes statement it look really piece. really nice. So, you know, adding a frame goes a long way. But yes, that's what I do. And then I have, I'm working on trying to work with a children's hospital nearby to donate all the kids' paintings that I have to a children's hospital. Right. Um, and we're hoping um, that they get back to us so that on Christmas night that we can live stream to the hospital and paint for the kids and with the kids for those that are in the hospital. So, You're still working on that? Yes, I'm waiting for her to get back to me on that. All right, that would be awesome. Yeah, but that. we'll we'll do it live too with you guys as well. So it'll be You a, know the kids love to paint. It's just, um, I don't know what it is, but kids love to paint. Of course. They feel freeing. They can create something. Well, adults love to paint too. But of course. Kids especially. Yes. Okay, um, Jennifer Smith Turner says, Hi, Jennifer. I didn't find y'all. You a didn't? A family member told me about y'all. Oh, that's even better. Well, yes, we love that hearing that. Me. Yes, please tell your family member. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom <laughs> of our hearts. Aw, thank you, thank you, guys. We love those shares, and certainly that's how we grow, too, is um, when you post your photos to your page, to your personal page, tag us in it. Tag Mimosas and Masterpieces. Um, that helps drive some traffic to our area that people may not ever find us or know us. We know that there's tons of artists out there that do this, and we're by no means telling you who to go to and who not to go to. I would never do that. Everybody has their own unique way of doing things, so you just have to find somebody and something that you guys love that uh, makes you happy. That's all. And that's what we're here for. We're all here. We should be all here to support one another. So I am more than happy to support other artists doing the same thing that Absolutely. I'm doing. Absolutely. It's not a competition. Nope. Not at all. Daniel Gates Rush says, my favorite painting was the Christmas Baby Yoda. Oh, he was so great. And he's now on the YouTube channel. He's now channel. on YouTube. Yes. He is. That one was a really great one. And the, and the pictures prove it. Like, that was... That one and the and the original gnome that we did was... Fantastic. All right, I'm going to keep moving on, guys. Ready? I'm going to rinse and dry that brush, and we're just going to go to a little bit of red for the pupils of his eyes. Got to zoom back in. Oh, sorry. I'm good. I'm coming right in there. So red. So they can see you put the little red dots in there. So that's that. We're filling those, filling those little. Yep, fill that in there. And then we're going to rinse and dry. And then start with our whites. So okay. rinse dry, and then his the white is his cuffs, his um, his collar, the collar, the bottom ruffle, the hat. That's all the white. So we're just gonna go to that white and start filling that in. All right. So now I'm gonna back out so that they can see you do the whites. It's hard to see the white, but okay. <laughs> they want to see where you're painting in. Okay. And um, yeah, Stacy Rosa. If I'm not mistaken, was the person who had suggested this before. We would love to see you paint a gingerbread man slash woman. Oh. Remember we were talking about that right. before? Yes. A gingerbread man and woman? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I that would make it difficult because, I mean, different because um, people always talk about gingerbread men. They don't ever talk about gingerbread women. That's true. Okay. Well, we'll see if I can work that out. I, I It's like... You I wrote guys, it down. I know. We have, there's, you guys have not, I mean, there's thousands of suggestions. Yes, and I've written them all <laughs> over. This, I've written on everything all over the place. So sometimes something will, like, really strike me, and I go, I need to do that right now. Something, like, I promised at, uh, several people that we will get a stitch, like Lilo and Stitch with a Santa hat. I promised to get that out there before, you know, before Christmas. There's only so many days a week mm -hmm. that we can do this. And we're doing private Zoom events, too. So, you know, in order to kind of sustain ourselves in between us doing these free live things, we're also doing private events, um, you know, at least once or twice to three times a week, <laughs> sometimes twice a day. <laughs> so, yes, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. All right. So I'm just filling in that white, those white areas. 
Now, see, I've got, we've got this little testimonial here from Sheena Gifford. Aww. She said I'm from Winona, Minnesota. Okay. Because I'm a dance studio owner, and, and I also work full-time as an educational teacher. Aww. And we just went into another shutdown and are unable to run an in-person classes. Yep. So I just spent the past week transitioning to virtual, running virtual tutoring sessions and being emotional. Yes, it and is. I also have no family in Minnesota here, and my family are high risk, so I didn't travel back home and spent the holiday alone and working. Aww. So thank you so much for doing this. You're so I welcome. I really needed to break and escape, and, you, gave, and you gave it to me. I hope to do it virtually with my staff and dancers over the next six weeks. We do. So, so plan on. Uh, I know you can't see it, but there's a Nutcracker snow globe coming soon. So that's a great one to share to your dance. Your dance team when we get to it, I pro it'll get up there soon. Mm -hmm. um, but but yes, I certainly you know if we need to work on doing a a Zoom to help get your studio some funds, we can do a, a Zoom event to help that too. Um, if you want to just offer to families for a certain fee, we can work on that too for you. Um, we're about getting back, especially this time of the year. Yes. All right. Mirror Cows is originally from Greenbrook, New Jersey. Really? I'm glad to have found this. I'm joining Aww. in with my daughters. Greenbrook, New Jersey is right down the road. Yes, Jennifer Smith-Turner. Yes, you do sign your work when you're done. Yeah. Or, or she's asking you, do you sign the I do. Work? I usually, uh, my initials, usually my initials and the year are in the corner of almost every painting that I do. And when you do that, we ask you to do the same thing. Yeah. And then take a picture and send it in to us. So we can post it on our page and, and make a slideshow and celebrate <laughs> all the people who joined in that day. Even when you even when you do it another time, we still ask you to send the picture in. Yeah, absolutely. We have just a couple little details left and it's just really our outlining and it is um, so our nose is the only thing that's a different color other than black. So the nose is just a little bit of gray. That's what I have. And, and you could actually make it green and just outline it. But um, the gray that I use, I just do a little tiny bit of white and a tiny touch of black. And that sort of gives me that gray color. Just a tiny touch of black. Tiny touch of black. But a little bit more is going to make it black. Yep. <laughs> now Susan says a good, good, uh, good idea here. She says, I wonder if the DIY network would be an option for you guys. I would love it. It would be a great stretch for them. But either that or PBS station. Yeah, we're we're definitely looking at public access right now. Right, because... we've been interviewed by a California public access station that wants to distribute our interview throughout the nation on public access networks. So, and and we'll be doing something in collaboration with them on December fifteenth. So, watch for that post. It's the fifteenth or the thirteenth. Uh, thirteenth. Thirteenth. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> the thirteenth. All right. Yeah, because on the 15th, we have Peanuts painted That's forward. Right. See, I knew the date sounded familiar. Uh -huh. Then again, pretty much every date sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. All right, so our last step is really our outlining. So a tip again, if I didn't mention it before, especially if you have little ones, if that outlining is too daunting with that tiny brush, wait until your whole painting dries, and you can just use a black Sharpie and you can outline with that. Otherwise, we're gonna go to that tiny brush. We're gonna rinse and dry real good. Make sure you get it to a point. So we were saying, what was I saying last night? Rinse, dry, and twist, or rinse, dry, and spin? Twist. Rinse, dry, and twist. Yep, you said rinse, dry, and twist. Rinse, 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 dry, and twist. And then a little bit of black paint on your brush at a time. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna start doing our outlining. So real light pressure, really light pressure around those edges, tiny bit of paint at a time. And we're just, I'm using that, I call it pencil grip, pinky stabilized, so holding my brush like a pencil up on the metal edge, the finial, ferrule, ferrule, not a finial, ferrule. And then use your pinky to kind of stabilize your hand on got your what canvas. color are the eyes again? So the outside of the eyes are yellow and the inside of the eyes are red. 
And Karen M. Sanderson says, my outline will be better with a marker. Yep, that's fine. That's okay. Mm -hmm. If you would rather do a marker, absolutely. Now, see, here's something um, I, I mentioned uh, before. Okay, Heather Wollstonecroft uh -huh. says, I think it's awesome that you give your time to help everyone paint. Thank you from Cairns, Australia. You're so welcome. Thank you guys for joining us all the way in Australia. Absolutely. That's so cool. Can we come and paint with kangaroos? Yes, we could. Oh my gosh, I would love that. That would be awesome. Yes. Koalas. Oh, koalas. Yes. I already have to ask the zoo if we can do koalas. <laughs> do they have oh any gosh. koalas? It would be better if we could just go to Australia. It would be even better if we can go to Australia. <laughs> See, now, we, we had a nice TV show that had the money and that's the what I, that's, financial backing. That's why I'd be like, can we go to Australia? Because I want to paint. I want to be yes. there. Yes, and they'd be like, sure. Do you have fans in Australia? We said, yes, sure we do. Sure we do. Aw. So we're just, every every once in a while, I rinse and dry, get it back to a rinse, dry, twist, get it back to a little point so that you can grab that little bit of paint at a time. On that brush. Now see here's Jody Boardman saying, This is awesome. Aww. You're very talented. First time watching from Sheboygan, Michigan. Sheboygan, Michigan. No way I could draw this and make it look anywhere near as well as you're doing it. Well, this is why sometimes we, do we the just sketch. we just offer you the sketch because yes, we want you to be proud of what you've done. And we want you to also know that you can paint, you can do this. Uh, I know I was chatting with somebody earlier that was that seems really frustrated and disappointed in what she had done yesterday, um, and I tried to walk her through. Let's, we're just going to do a muted background. If you feel uncomfortable doing the sketch right away, do the whole background first, and then go back over it. it it's fine. Um, don't stress too much. We, we don't want you to stress about this. We want you to, this to be calming and relaxing. But I know for myself to try to um, walk you through all the little details of painting the Grinch. We're, you're going to get frustrated at some point or, you know, it's going to drag on too long. So giving you the sketch for something that's a little bit more licensed like this or, you know, a character is is probably for me, I think, more successful for you guys. Um, that's why we do that. I mean, there's we have plenty of other paintings that will not have a sketch. Our gnomes don't have sketches. Um, what else? The moose doesn't have sketches. The... Uh, the night before, it was the night before Christmas. It does have a silhouette, but it doesn't actually have a sketch. Right. Um, so, yeah, we, we kind of, we, we give some, we take some. <laughs> Our Moonlight Snowman, which was a fantastic painting, that did not have sketches. And you guys knocked that one out of the park. They were beautiful. I loved seeing all of your little snow families. What brush are you using again? I'm um, still so with that little tiny, that detail brush now. So the smallest brush that we've got. Okay. Yeah. What color were the eyebrows? The eyebrows are going to be black. Okay. Yep, I'll get up there in a second too. So as my lines start to get a little thicker, I rinse and dry, get it back to a point. Rinse, dry, twist. Rinse, dry, twist. <laughs> rinse, dry, twist. That's rinse, it. dry, twist. All right, I'll come up here and do the eyebrows for us. Okay, now she just asked a question and then she's asking another one. Sure. Where is the sketch? Can I still get it? Yep. Yes, you can. It's, it's on, on our website. website. Yep, and all yep. you got to do is sign up and make sure that you use the promo code SELFCARE self -care. in all caps. Please read carefully the instructions. It'll tell you everything you need to know and everything you need to do. Yep. You can get rid of the there. dollar by putting in the promo code SELFCARE self -care in all caps. Yes. You'll get an email with all the information and details in it, and that will include a Word document that has the sketch. Yep. You got it. So yeah, these uh, these eyelashes, these eyebrows, eyelashes and eyebrows, and just kind of gonna zoom in for this. Yeah, this one I made his eyelashes like really big. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Dana Banana, we do not have an Instagram account. I d oh guys, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I do. It's there, but it's really not active. I, you know, I barely have time to keep up with the Facebook one. So we do Facebook, we do Zoom, and we do YouTube, and then we have our website. Yeah, I, I just, I would rather master one thing than try to be 
on all multiple because we're you know it's Mark and I it, that's it you know uh, and Mason I should say Mason my brother yeah. is in Pennsylvania and he's usually behind the scenes working out some of those other details like the um, like banning all of those spammers right before we go live or helping with the website you know, helping us with the website yes all the administrative functions that Jennifer has to deal with Mason helps her with yes all of the editing and uh, social media stuff I try to work on and take care of. And then all the technical stuff, the cameras, the lighting, the set design, um, the uh, helping making the p components that go with the kits. And then Jennifer does the kits. Yep. I'm a shipper. I'm a packer. And I'm she a... does the planning. <laughs> she decides when we're going to do something. Uh, what day uh, she picks what paintings after you guys tell us what you want so we everybody does their part true you know all the little cups I filled in all of those little cups with paint <laughs> yes he does there's thousands of them I fill them up all the time we seem to never ever run out we always seem to have more to make and then we That's are also problem. doing research and development on getting little tubes of paint yes. so that we don't have to send out these little cups anymore. Yes, which we know if you ever, those of you that are with us for the first time, if you ever happen to buy a kit from us and you happen to get something that's broken in the mail, like paint, right. we do put them in plastic bags for a reason. Right. And that is because sometimes, you know, we know how mail gets handled. <laughs> yeah, they get tossed around and crushed. And... <laughs> they get crushed. Um, and especially now, this time of the year, it's going to get start starting to get colder. So there's a, they're going to become more fragile and more apt to breakage. So, you know, we just have to be careful about it. If it happens, we will make that, we will make it right, okay? Just reach out to us, okay? Yeah, just reach out to us. We always want to make you whole. We always want you to be able and ready to paint with us. And um, even if you order something at the last minute, because a few people were ordering things for the Grinch two days ago. Yeah, we're like, Knowing that they're not yeah, going to get like, that sorry, delivery guys. in two days. But they understand that we're going to post a video. Yeah. So they're going to get their Grinch, and they're going to do it when they want. There's a lot of moms that wait till 12 midnight <laughs> to paint because yeah. all the kids are in bed. That's And they so can true. sip some wine, and they can relax, <laughs> and... Turn everything yes. down, everybody's in bed, quiet, and then they just turn on our video and they sit there and laugh with us and paint with us. It's just like doing it live. I'll be sipping tonight with you guys. There you go. We'll be back tonight at 9 o'clock. Yep. You don't have something to sip then? Yes, I am. I just got another shipment of wine. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. That's right. I carried it in that house. I did. Right. That's because I'm doing a fundraiser, see? I'm I'm buying wine to give money back. <laughs> How about that, right? I'm giving money back. It's my One Hope wine. All right. Yeah, see, they see your hand. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, like... they see your hand doing the outline on the Grinch and giving him his details, right? Yeah. So then Jennifer Smith Turner says, it looks like you were the animator from the movie. Oh, you wow. You know, where they draw, where they draw <laughs> the actual character. That would be cool. <laughs> Rinse, dry, get it back to a point every once in a while. Yeah, Dana Banana says, Thank you, Jennifer. Really enjoyed your show. You're so welcome. Enjoyed Rascal's heavy breathing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? What kind of dog do you have? He is an Australian Shepherd. At least this is what he told us. I think he's part Australian Shepherd, and I think he's, I mean, I guess a Shetland Sheepdog, but pretty much the same type of breed. But, uh, but yes, he was a rescue. He was, it's a crazy story. I told you about how that, how we met with him with, met him with Aiden, but I reached out to, um, the rescue and I found his picture on their website that oh. was about three months old. And I said, uh, if you ever come across a dog that looks like this, and that's a little bit older because he is a senior, his birthday is November 30th, so we did birthday photo shoot for Rascal 2, that's in our page, um, I would be interested. And she said, that's Rascal, and he's available. <laughs> so that's amazing how that turned out. Yeah. 
Okay, now I got a little announcement to make. Okay, go ahead. From Silicon Valley Technical Art, Green, and Sustainability. Oh, there she is. Hello. Super Hi. excited that the show we filmed with you will be airing soon. Yeah. More details when the TV station here in San Jose, California gets there back to us. There she is. Awesome. You are so amazing, Jennifer and Mark. Thank Love you for you, letting Heather. us know. Thank, Thank you. you. We really you. appreciate it. Yeah. We just said, we just announced the 13th we'll be doing something with you guys. We'll be collaborating. Yep, we are just talking about it. See how we talk people up? I know. See how the frequency works? I know. It happens all the time now. I told you. So crazy. So down here in his legs, <laughs> let's get those details down here. So once we do those outlines in the legs. Now see one of our top fans, Catherine Cruz, says, hello. Hi. I literally just finished my Beetlejuice painting last night. Uh. She says, I'm so behind and can't wait to do these paintings. <laughs> it's now okay. See, we, have, we have a lot of viewers that are, they, they, they feel like they're behind. They have to do them all. <laughs> yeah, like we got to do every painting that you, you do. You definitely do not. So we're constantly looking at the videos after you post them. And then yeah. they keep saying that they're behind. I'm like, it's, it's not a race. You're not trying to keep up with us. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely you do not. It at you your don't leisure. have to. Absolutely not. You take your time, enjoy yourself. <laughs> so that it, in between his legs, we're gonna bring a straight line down. And then, it, I mean, if you want to, so you can do kind of a little tummy hanging down here. I know it looks a little more furry on this side, on that one. Yeah, let me show the legs because I've I've focused on. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I focused on his eyes and the face, and some people are saying, can we see his legs, please? Sorry. My Grinch is a little heavier on this side. <laughs> Let me back out. There you go. Yeah, see, now we're getting a lot of people saying, thank you so much for this. You're so welcome. It's my first time, Aww. and I will be back. Yay. Okay, well, that's exactly what we aim to, to do for people 100%. when they join us for the first time. We are happy to hear that you'd like to be back. That means we've done something right. We made you laugh. You made a great painting. We can't wait to see them. I'm just doing those outlines inside the eyes. And then the yeah, last... Yeah, a lot of people want to see the legs, so I brought it down yes, and then I pulled fine. it all the way out. That's fine. So legs are in there. I think I got everything outlined. I'm going to, once you're done with your block, you're just going to rinse and dry and grab a little bit of white and get those white pupils in those eyes, a little dot of white in each one. Okay. Try to make a match up. And then you can sign and date your painting and then you're done. And please remember, we'll be back tonight to do Max and Cindy Lou. We will. That is us. We will be doing that next. Um... So steps after this, again, what we'll do is um, I'll, we'll post the video so you guys can watch it back. If you need to, you can go back to it. You can share it. Um, um, if, if you can find the video explaining uh, how people go to the website, and get, can you put that back at the top of the feed? Yeah, I can try and share that again. So people can look at that too, so they can get sure. the sketches and everything? Yeah, we redid that, right? Because the first one that I did was like... Right, we did it. We, 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 we did it. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should even, we have to do it even, uh, another one again and record it and do All it right. on Zoom. All right. And, and uh, I'll do another one, guys. Because, yeah, the first one, all you heard was, <sighs> I have no, no idea. No, no, we got rid of that one, and then we did another one, and you was explaining yeah, but how the, to go to the website. You were sitting there showing all the different. Yeah, oh, I can try and find that one. Because I think even that one, people were saying that the it was bad. The screenshot was bad. You couldn't really see what we all were right, doing, so the glare. All right, we got to do another one, then. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the one where I was looking over your shoulder and then right. I couldn't see whether I was zooming in right or Correct. not like that. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that one. we yeah. got to do that again so that we can explain to people what to do to get the, get the sketches yep. and uh, order kits and supplies. Definitely. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so I'll post that again. Mm. I'll try and do another one of those again. So videos going up. The post of maybe Mason took care of it for us already. There should be a photo of some type of photo saying reminder to post your photos here please share with us use that thread and put your photos as comments there okay we'll grab those photos to put them in the slideshow and in our in a gallery later mm -hmm. um, and then the next one is going to be me holding my many thanks card 
Um, and we'll post our virtual tip jar information if you choose to use, to use that. You'll post that in a little few minutes? Yep, once we're all done with the video and everything else, then we'll do that. That's kind of the last thing I post. But Nancy says, was the dot of white or yellow in the eye? I was taking a sip. <laughs> you know what? That's important though, Nancy. So I did a dot of white, but you can probably do a dot of yellow. Either one is probably fine. Okay. As long as your yellow shows up in there. You see how she slipped in there? It was important to take the sip. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> you got to relax. That's what it's about, right? <laughs> we have some... Uh, some Megan, I will zoom in on the face again for you. There you go. I have some awesome giveaways uh -oh. coming up. What happened? No, uh, I cameras. pressed the button and the camera don't stop. Now it's going all around. All right, let's stop touching let's it stop for right it. now. <laughs> let's zoom back in, please. Oh, my goodness. And let's go back up so I can get right in there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, seriously. It's so funny. Got to press it a little bit at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Van Valinsky says, thanks so much, so much glad I found you angels. Aww, thanks, <laughs> My daughter Jennifer. and I love it, and it was a great mother-daughter activity. Good. Oh, we love hearing that, okay? That's, we, that's the really, you know, that's the most important thing. We have, if you, you know, oh gosh, I'm all over the place. We have a, a whole testimonial thing going. So, um, we've received, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. We've received several testimonials from you guys, from some people, um, and I can, you know, just read them and cry because I can't read them at work anymore. I have to wait till I'm home and by myself um, because you guys have given us so much reason to do this. Like, that is my why. If I can say that there's a why, those are the whys. The, the reasons that we're, we're here for you, we're, we're hearing about helping your family be together we're helping people that can't go out that have been you know quarantined through their home whether it's um, because of covid or whether because they're um they have another autoimmune disease that they can't leave their home right we've heard or they're just from distance wise uh we, yeah, we have I mean, people say uh i'm in one state my mom's in another, another state yeah. my brother's in another state and we're all painting together, together at the same time. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's our that's why. Awesome. So we have an entire testimonial thing. If you have something great to share with us at some point, I know I've started sharing them, but at some point we're going to put something really great together um, for you guys with that just to see. I mean, where's the testimonial at? Um, I'll, I'll post it up again. I, it was in one of those threads that I did, but um, every once in a while somebody will send me a, Right, uh, a message. A message, and I cry, and then I go, please put it on here. <laughs> like, reshare that for me. Yeah. Um, but we'll get back to it. I was trying to post them every Thursday, so for Thankful Thursday. And I missed this this week because it was this week. Um, well, it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. It was Thankful Thursday. I said Thankful Thursday. I did say I Thankful know. Thursday. I know. We've been so busy, um, but bringing joy and helping to share smiles. That's what I enjoy doing. Yes, and nothing beats that. It doesn't. Nope. <laughs> All right, that's what we get on here for, to see how many people we can touch, how many people want to get together and have some fun and not think about whatever's going on in their life at the time. Uh, like right. I say all the time, we're putting the world on pause, and we're going to have <laughs> some fun, and we're going to laugh, so and we're going to drink, and we're going to eat, and we're going to paint. Yes, we. Uh, and I've even gotten away from doing the Spotlight Artist because there's so many of you now, but I have got to get back to doing that again. Yeah. Um, we like to put you guys in, in the spotlight because it's about you, not about us. Yes. Um, but we've seen so many of you. Um, some of you have joined us from the very start when we started doing this and are still doing it now, and I've seen the growth in your work. Um, you can see that you have a style, and that's so, um, it's just rewarding to me to see that in you guys. So, um so thank you. Thank you for being a part of our Mimosas community and for being a part of what we do and for being able to share it with us. That is what we're here for. Right now, even though some of our viewers are helping to answer the question, she said, uh, Barbara Madison said, how did she make the gray? The gray is, uh, yep, a little scoop of white and a tiny, tiny bit of black. Tiny, a tiny bit, bit of, of black. If yep. you put too much black, it's going to become black. Yep. <laughs> 
And then the painting that we're doing tonight, again, at 9 o'clock is the Max and Cindy Lou. 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Yep. So they fit right along in here. And we'll make we'll try and make those mountains match up a little bit better. But uh, Let me back out so they can see that. Well, that's okay. But we'll try and make the make our mountains match up a bit. If you want to put them together like that, or if you want to do two 16 by 20s and turn it up on its side so they're, you know, all all the right height or all the same height, you can do that. Yeah. But yes, we'll be back to doing this one. That good that looks good. You could just connect it to the to the Grinch you got there on the right. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. That's it. So here's our little mount crumpet, right? <laughs> yep, that's it. And remember, if you can't make it back at nine, we'll post okay. a video to that to that session as well. As soon as we're done. And you can do them tomorrow or uh, up to a week until we take it off. Yeah, and so again, I, you know, I think the more the more that we do, the more we're gonna probably just post up to uh, to YouTube. Um, I think we should just go ahead and post this. I know that a lot of people are gonna be looking post for it. Post the send you to YouTube. Right to YouTube because people are gonna be looking for it and it's just so much easier for me to grab that link and just share the link. That's fine then, I'll take care of it. Um, I'll take care of it by tomorrow night. Okay. Cool. So that way, people who want to paint tomorrow, they can paint tomorrow. It's going right to still be YouTube. on the Facebook page. Right. But then it'll also be on the YouTube it'll, page. It'll be nice to have it right from YouTube. Yes. All right. So I'll make sure I get it up there tomorrow. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. And Mark will add our little intro to it. And yeah. Cut out all of our hellos. <laughs> there we go. Our 15 minutes of hellos. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and uh, I want to say again, um, I'm so grateful for all our friends in Canada. Yeah. Because a lot of you join us tonight. We love it. And um, and hopefully some more of you will come and join us again to, um, tonight later. Okay. We got Linda Haynes saying, sending love and hugs to both of you from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Ah, uh, thank so you. So glad to know that folks like you exist. Aww. Wishing you great success in all your endeavors. Thank you so much, Linda. Yeah, we love our Canadians. Yeah. You know, uh, oh, Sarah, Sarah Hines. Hi, Sarah. Says, uh, this is a blast from my stepdaughter and I from British uh, Columbia, Canada. Awesome. <laughs> what, is so this, what is the code again for the uh, website? Everything is self-care. Self -care, all caps. All caps, one word, self-care. So you can add five signups in one transaction. It may look like $5, but if you just type in the promo code self-care, it'll all go away. So all you need is your email to send it to to uh, put it through, and then we can email you the documents. And yes, Vicky Lynn, this is going to be on the Facebook page tonight. As soon as we're done here in a few minutes, we're going to post the video. There you go. And same goes for Max and Cindy Lou. When yep. we're done with that event tonight, we'll post it right here on the Facebook page. You got it. And then eventually it'll be right up on the YouTube page. The YouTube page is Mimosas Masterpieces, Masterpieces. one word. word. Okay. Got it. And Dana Banana is from Calgary, Alberta, Alex. Canada. Uh oh. <laughs> I love Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That's where all the best wrestlers come from. Oh my gosh. Like Lance Storm. <laughs> yeah. That's what, whenever I see those words, I know I, I think of Lance Storm because he always says I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. <laughs> that's the hey. That's the place. That's the place. Oh my goodness. You guys are too much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank everybody. you, guys. We'll be back on here in about three and a half hours. Let's hit. Yeah, about three and a half <laughs> hours. We'll be back. Okay, well, I'm going to post and do the things that I need to do. Yes. I'm going to take a smidge of a break. Okay. I'm going to come back on. For anybody that painted with us the Elf on a Shelf last night, Yes. your names are already on the wheel for your kit purchasers and our tippers from last night. All right. So I will do that spin um, a suit in, a, in a little while. Give me a little while. Okay. <laughs> but before we go live for, uh, for Max and Cindy, it'll be before then. So I don't want to confuse anybody if you see us popping on live before then. All right. Okay? All right. Right. So don't get excited. <laughs> Just going to be the spinners. Just the spinner. We'll be doing Max to Cindy Lou at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You got time. it. That's right. All right, All right everybody. Guys. Be see safe. You later. And we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, rascal. <laughs> Hi, my boy. There we go.